dun, dun, dun. <laughs> good morning, my good people. Black Ops, Ruthie Ruth, Mandy, Terry, Angel with Tattoos. <laughs> you get a warrant. You get a warrant. Everybody gets a warrant. <laughs> Farm Girl B, Gerald, Girl Tube, Texas One. Indy, hello, hello. Baby Bear Farms, uh, Debbie Myers, Justin. Our Lady Chantel, a perpetual poutine. I seen you showing your ass in the chat earlier. I seen what you said. <laughs> Shorty Venus, Amberlicious, hello, good morning. Nick Star, thank you for coming through with the paper clips. It's much appreciated because I do feel like we're in an emergency, okay? And we are in danger. Paper clips equals danger, my good people. Tasha, Kate Rogers, VG, Donald Duck, Mary Cav. Sometimes it snows in April. And <laughs> Danielle. See, Jamie L. I can't look, I'm gonna be forever uh what's it called? Traumatized. Traumatized by the name Jamie. Okay. No Dre <laughs> Hey Cancer Warrior. Hey, hey. No Jamie's allowed in the chat. Tally <laughs> Tally420. Hello. Tally. <laughs> Good to see you. Purple glitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dove Kitty. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. So, uh, I guess we can give a little story because, you know, we like to kind of bullshit before we get into the main event, oh right? It's like the warm-up game, right? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> okay. So, we'll tell you a story of why um, oh boy. a name, Jamie, is traumatizing, right? Some of you may know. Some of you may not, okay? We come from this community way back. You've heard me talk about it before, right? <laughs> Called the D.C., <laughs> The OG DC. Mm -hmm. Am I right? You're right. OG DC is where we met. <laughs> yeah, that's where me and Sam met, right? It's the whole thing. So, uh, there are quite a, f quite a few characters um, from that community. Uh, if you think that Chantel and uh, Amberlynn is a circus, you've seen nothing yet, okay? It's, uh, it's quite impressive, actually. But anyways, um, one of those characters uh, was somebody that went by the name of Jamie, right? Mm -hmm. Total troll. Well, at least, <laughs> you know, I don't know about the total troll. I think she's just really, she yeah, we thought that she was a troll, but come to find out, she's just, uh, she's got some serious issues, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how would you even, where are you going? Because you can describe Jamie better than I can. Yeah. I don't even know, like, actually how to describe this woman. She was just quite weird, okay? Like, when she sends you messages, they're novels. No. Uh, She's got these stories, like, she's got these, yeah. Hey, Queen, look, Queen Ty shows his face in here. <laughs> we start talking about, about the OGDC. Listen, it, listen to these stories that she would tell. What is she, like, a, a dress person? Yeah, she seems dressed. She claimed to have known some famous country music singer and was going to put somebody else, like, in personal contact with a country music singer. Yeah, she's going to be on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. She was going to make somebody's daughter's wedding dress. Uh-huh. When my dog got uh, dog napped uh -huh. for a period of time, yeah. I got the dog back myself. But she went on the internet and claimed her and her dad are the ones who got my dog back. Yeah, yeah. She's she, she really crazy. She's out there. She's okay? a nut. Yo, yeah, yeah, the fish Oh, jeez, I can't believe it. It's a fish hose. Yeah, yeah. She so, faked having a stroke. Yeah, she faked having a stroke. And when people, like, confronted her, people on the internet confronted her, she took a picture of herself, and she took fish hose tubing, hose tubing and, like, stuck it up her nose and took a picture of herself to make people think she had, like, oxygen or something. Yeah, it was an ox she was on oxygen, and there was a pegboard behind her. Yeah, <laughs> the pegboard. And, and it didn't matter. Like, you can confront her, like, with it's blatantly obvious that's fish tubing up your nose and a pegboard behind you. She would no. not... Admit it. It was the emergency room. You all do not know what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> nothing you could tell to say to this girl. You know, she just lives in her own her own reality. Yeah. Now, fast, this was, now, this was back in the day. You fast forward to, to, to recently. Hold on, but wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. I missed Also, something. something you need to know about this Jamie person is somehow she got people to talk to her. Like, and give She's her, persistent. like. I've yeah. Got, I've got novels in my DMs. Novels, dude. On and on and on. I'm Same. Like, you think I'm going to, you know interact with that you're crazy woman <laughs> Ty, this is Irene. hello Ty, I miss you so much <laughs> but like she actually would get she would get like you're on top chat yeah. she would get major players in the dc to like talk to her and, and tell her, her stuff panel. like she's been on panels yeah yeah she's, she's she's been around yeah but like she would get like information and messages they would send her recorded messages and one time 
we got real rowdy in the D.C. and decided to start auctioning off DMs. Oh, God. And they were all you providing. That right, auctioning people. They auctioned off DMs. Keep going. I had a direct role in, in that fiasco. Anyway, but um, the, all of the DMs and recordings that were quite juicy, by the way, and quite damaging to some major players in the D.C., all came from Kimbro. Yeah. All, all of them. them. All came from Jamie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was great. So, but, but fast forward to recently. Hey, Murphy Smith. Hey, Murph. Fast forward to recently. Okay. Tell them what happened. Tell them what happened. Tell but, them why we can't see the name Jamie in a chat. Go ahead, tell them. Go ahead. Should I pull up the article? No, yeah. Go ahead and tell them, and I'll get the article together. Okay. So, yesterday morning... I woke up at 4 o'clock, you know, to go potty like I always do. And I check my Twitter. We always check our phones. <laughs> always check my phone. And two people, my, my two right-hand women, had both DM'd me articles. And I'm like, what the heck? Or links. I was like, they're both sending me links. This has got to be good. Hold on. Scroll down. Let me read the. Uh, no, I want to I watch the video. But keep telling them. Well, no, you know, I, just, I was going to read the. Uh, <laughs> no, don't read it. Don't read it. Okay. Where's the video? Just hold on, There's so many there. now. There's so many stories. There's okay. one. Oh, wait, Those two have videos. That top one has a video. I gotta, no, listen, I gotta have the share option. Okay. Let me go to the YouTube. This oh, is oh. too good. Y'all just hold on. Just be patient. Don't eat your trust me. Don't don't get bored yet. Just bear with us, please. Okay. There it is. Oh God. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Here it goes. All right. Now this. God. <laughs> Here it goes. It's crazy. It's great. It really is. <laughs> Black Ops is selling my Instagram five for a dollar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We present to you Jamie Kimbrough <laughs> of the OGDC. Nebraska Humane Society Director of Field Operations tells me that tonight that there was extreme filth covering the entire inside of the house and says it's one of the worst things he's seen throughout all of his years on the job. A case that started as a tip to the Humane Society uncovered a horrific scene inside of an Omaha home. Inside, 38 dead rabbits, two dead parakeets, two dogs, eight live rabbits, and another five dead rabbits at another property, also connected to Jamie Kimbro. When we first opened the door, it actually took all of our breath away and it burned our nostrils and our lungs. So it was extremely filthy. Um, the animals were running around, couldn't escape the waste, and you know the deceased animals are still on the property as well. Field Director Ronald Schlobs was one of the many people on scene on August 19th when they got a search warrant and made the gruesome discoveries. He says in some places there were piles of feces at least a foot deep, all where the animals were living. And these living conditions, quite frankly, couldn't have been much worse. So it was absolutely horrible to see. Court documents reveal that when officers entered the garage where they found the rabbits, they immediately noticed a height difference due to the garage floor being entirely covered in rabbit feces. According to court documents, they were able to find rabbit food bags filled with dead rabbits. That's when they found all 38. They found another six bags full of decaying rabbits, but there were too many to count. The other thing that was more unusual and a little more upsetting with this was the sheer number of deceased animals that were still kept on the property and not you know, properly taken care of. Documents go on to say Kimbro denied anything was wrong and said she was set up and animals were placed in her home. Then That's how crazy she is. We'll mm-hmm. stop right there because that's legit this is how crazy she is like she really like these people came to her home Mm -hmm. found all these dead animals Mm -hmm. the house reeked of animal feces piss shit death Mm -hmm. all that and she like there's obviously something wrong big time with jamie and she's telling these people that it's not true that she was set up like there's no way you can deny something like that it's like literally somebody walking in your house and there being a dead body next to you and you're holding a gun you know what i mean yeah well we talked to somebody last night there's so many articles on it and like every article gives more information yeah and i guess there's another article out there that says that at when the police came to her house that she crawled out of the front door like uh-huh. like army crawled Bell- on belly her crawl. belly belly uh-huh. crawl, yeah covered in feces and was still denying that she had rabbits like it's not funny i mean this the situation's not funny what happens not funny but it's like dude like right here what's on the screen jamie denied anything was wrong and stated that she'd been set up that's what she's been like claiming the whole five years that she's been on the internet that she's never done anything wrong everybody's always setting her up the story you know you got the story's always wrong it's never what it seems yeah 
just really crazy. And the fact that she said that she was uh, she was uh, going to be on the red carpet, like doing yes. these dresses and stuff. Anyways, that's why uh, there'd be no mention of any kind of Jamie's in our chat. <laughs> yeah, we're traumatized. <laughs> we, we really are. Yes, Tally. We didn't hear that until late last night. Mm-hmm. 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 How do you set someone up with dead animals in a filth? I don't know, man. But the woman is just nuts. Hopefully that this will help her because obviously she's been unwell yeah. for some time. You know, you're sticking fish tube up your nose and you're telling people that you're, um, you just had a stroke. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Like this, this is why Chantel and Amber, that's pretty much nothing for us. Cause we've really been around the block when it comes to yeah. low cows on the internet. She's yeah. just a random, well, post Deloney, her name is Jamie Kimbrough. Look at Ty, fucking Kimbrough, man. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, like, people would always feel sorry for her because she... She does have some, like, disabilities as far as, like, physical disabilities. Yeah. Like, she's... I don't... I don't... How is she, like, is it dwarfism? No, it's not dwarfism. I think maybe, like, I don't know. I really... I honestly don't know what it is. But she does have some pretty serious physical disabilities. But dang, man, like she was always into shit and it was always like crazy. And she has a husband that they arrested too. So Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just It's just a whole thing. It's called a drama community. It doesn't exist anymore, but No, we a, burnt that bitch to the ground. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, it's no longer exists. But anyway, so <laughs> that was a nice little story to get them all yeah. proud Good morning, of. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yesterday, guys, we had I think we had a pretty good stream. It was a three hour uh you know, shindig. Ordeal. <laughs> Ordeal. You sit over there and eat those nasty smelling eggs. What'd you put on them? Um, cheese and ham and ketchup. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, anyways. I, I like eggs, but I hate the smell of eggs, man. No, yeah. no. Um, anyways. Oh, yeah, he was arrested, too. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. They both were. The, um, t- the timeline's really... Sh- it's fuzzy, though, because... And that news article, it said August 19th is when they were searching the home. But then, I don't know. I, don't worry. Um, Tally and Cat's Rule, if you're listening, I'm going to need to see you in my office after the live stream. We have some uh, investigations to do. You want to file a complaint too? Cow tippers are fucking up my story arc. Oh, God. <laughs> Enough of the cow tipping. Flint, you got a lot of nerve. You disappeared for <laughs> months and you busted her back in talking about, oh, cow tippers are fucking up my story arc. Get out of here. Sit down and catch up. <laughs> yeah. Take a seat, Flint. Calm down. <laughs> okay. Yes, have some. Welcome, welcome. So, look, yesterday we leave you guys with Chantel with the with her, uh, her truth, her story, all that mm-hmm. jazz, right? And we knew it. We knew that Chantel was going to end up back with Nada, right? She kind of put herself in a corner. Yeah, she did. So yesterday she's streaming and she's like talking about how she's not going to go back with him or whatever. And then Chantel gets a knock at the door. Do you guys, are you all aware that Chantel um, had the police show up at her house yesterday? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And before we watch the video that we're going to react to, we are going to watch Chantel's reaction to the police, the Canadian uh, oh, look at you. You got it all queued up. I'm ready to go today because okay. I got stuff to do. We got to get this done, get it going, get it in action, okay? Okay. So that's where we're going to start out today watching. Is Chantel copying Nick, Nick Avocado? No, you know what? I don't know what Chantel's doing, really. I think Chantel is, fi- is f- filled with a lot of hate. Yep. Like, I feel like I she um, is filled with a lot of jealousy. Yep. You know, a lot of things going wrong with Chantel in her life, and uh, and and, and she, she also wants her cake and she wants to eat it too. For sure, you're very yes, very very good. Yes, yeah, she wants her cake. She wants to eat it too. Okay, she wanted this new man in her life. She was willing at no cost. She was willing to lose her family. She was willing to give him all her money. You know, mm-hmm. she was willing to pretty much ruin her channel. And what happened is, uh, she brings this man on her channel after you know she's told everybody that he's abusive, but she's forgiven him and all that. And then she goes on to tell her story and saying that she's completely done with him, you know, because she's jealous, which is completely ridiculous. Like, just ridiculous. She's jealous of his comments. She's jealous of his thumbs up, Dude, thumbs she down. She's jealous of um, Pete's when Pete's would be on the live stream and people are asking a bunch of questions. And Yeah, when everything. they were like worried about Pete's. Oh, don't worry about him. He's fine. It's me that has the problems. Mm-hmm. Me, 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 me. Right? So anyways, after her true story and after she swore off Nodder, she's sitting in her kitchen yesterday, doing her live stream, cooking her meatloaf, whatever, trying to play it cool. 
And she gets a knock on the door. Let's let's watch and see how she reacts, shall we? And if you guys remember before, this is not the first time that police have been to um, her apartment. No. Nope. And normally when the police come, Chantel sends who to answer the door? Pete! 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 How can you be jealous? Exactly. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, wait. Kate says, so she called him herself. She wasn't high, and she was actually wearing pants in the middle of the day. Aha! Yeah, she's never wearing pants. That's right. You're right about that. Uh, hold on. She also did a weigh-in yesterday. Yeah, I think she's up to, like, 345. Ooh. Yeah, isn't this, like, the third or second time? It's at the, I feel like they've been there quite a few times yeah. at this point. At le- this is at least three that I know of. The cops are watching her now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Meet up with my online friends? That would be so fun. Yes. Let me turn her up. Mm-hmm. Here. Look at her. She doesn't even jump or anything. Now, take take it back. Take it back. Like, I know we're going to probably overanalyze this, and we're probably speculating. Like, that's because that's what we do over here. What we're, we do. Yes. Watch her reaction. If somebody come and knocked on my door like that, you know how it is when the police knock at your door. Woo, takes your breath away, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Who did what? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do I have warrants? <laughs> yes. Should I answer? <laughs> Let me go out the back door. Watch your reaction to this, to this knock. Like, she's sitting there. She's not looking behind her. Nothing. Like, she's just completely in her own little world. Like, when you're, on, when you're in your own little world and you're not expecting somebody to either, A, knock at your door, or B, ring your doorbell, it's kind of like, oh, my God. Watch your reaction again. Meet up with my online friends? That would be so fun. Yes. Who's here? Mm-mm. Hold on one Did second. Did you see it? Did you see it? And everybody knows what a police knock sounds like, and that's it. Yeah. You know what she sounded like? What? She sounded like a parent who, um, like it's... Santa Claus at the door, you know, and they set it up for their little kids. Yes. Ooh, who could that Who's be? at the door? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hold on. Watch it again. Let's play in slow-mo. What? Hold on. And I feel like I can't breathe. Rainbow Fright. I'm so sorry, hon. We Hang in there. Warm, my bad. Huh? Nothing. True. No, there. she said her grandma passed away. Mm. Yeah, her grandma passed away. I'm so sorry. That ain't a door dash knock. Remix Me to put my online friends? That would be so... Stephanie, she was. She was sitting over here eating mm-hmm. eggs. She told me I had to eat something so I wouldn't be grouchy. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Yes. Yeah, look at her tapping her arm. Look at uh-huh, her. Uh-huh. Watch. <laughs> Who could that be? Who's here? Who's here? Girl, if that ain't the look mm-hmm. of guilt, I don't know what is. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine this? And she knew who it was. You can tell. <laughs> Hold on one second. Look, she mutes. And, you know, and somebody made a point. I can't remember. I think it was on twi- uh, Twitter. I don't know. I read through so much Chantel bullshit because I'm pathetic like that. <laughs> but um, somebody had made a good point that normally when the police come or somebody knocks on her door that she always turns the camera up towards the ceiling. And yeah. this time she leaves it facing so we can actually see. And, and, and notice, this is, is this not like a new position for Chantel? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Aren't we normally facing the other way? Ain't we? Aren't we normally? Guys, listen. Aren't we normally in all Chantel's videos and live streams yeah. facing the wall, the other wall, the refrigerator, yeah, the fridge, uh-huh, uh-huh. and the stove and the sink. Yep. Look at this new uh, layout here. And it's like she's where the sink is. Hey, Sarah, I see when you. She's sitting in front of the sink. Since when? Since when are we? I, I mean, I get that she's doing her meatloaf or whatever, but even then, even when she cooks and stuff, she she does the other side. She uses the other side. And the uh, it's it's mirrored is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, she knew. Is she doing this to scare Nodder? I mean, at this point, who knows? Who knows what the plot is? I don't is? think she even knows what she's doing at this point. Yeah, really. you know what I thought, guys. And here's a good. 
somebody's still been in my DMs about Chantel and, uh, you know, her whole money situation. And it, it was a good observation, honestly. Chantel's obviously out of money. When's the last time we've seen Chantel order food? Yeah. When's the last time we've seen Chantel go to Starbucks? She's been live for like the last 48 fucking hours. And I ain't seen her buy shit. No. And what is today? <gasps> Seven days out of... Ooh. But listen, people are... No, people aren't saying, but somebody had speculated about this guy being a jiggler or whatever and how it's all a story. But I got to thinking, she's talking to her mom again. And they said that her mom usually pays her bills when she goes under. So her mom, now listen, this is just speculation, people, okay? Her mom probably said, Chantel, if you need help with your bills, you're going to have to prove that you're done with this guy. Mm. And she probably was like, yeah, I'll file a police report or something. Like she needed to get something in writing in order for her mom to possibly... Now, this is all possibilities, guys. I mean, but you got to think about this. All this is weird. So this this right here will prove to her mother... Because I think in this live stream or the one after, her mom calls. So obviously her mom knows what's going on at this wow. point. Wow. Good catch. Her mom is enabling her. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Now, I mean, this, this is just not like Chantel. We don't... Look, watch. Keep watching. We're going to actually see them walk inside her house you don't have i don't think you have to let cops in like no. if somebody made a false claim like that no the only time you have to let the police in is if they have a warrant a second amendment warrant yeah and we've never seen oh, wait, the, no this is canada <laughs> yeah well we've okay well even though we've never seen the cops actually come in her house because yeah. she always has the camera turned or she's upstairs or something mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so when she goes back to him, he won't blame her for calling. It is all a setup. Oh, my gosh. She's got it muted. Look, here comes the light. Watch. Here, come upstairs in front of my camera. Yeah, go look at my camera up there. Go ahead. Go take a look. Go take a gander. Mm-hmm. And you know what? And you know what's even more weird is that Chantel muted it. Why? She could have just left it off so we could have heard what was said mm -hmm. and who made the call. Why? Because... We're here because you want to file a report. She doesn't want anybody to hear that, so she muted right. it. Right. Ooh. Oh, that's what I meant. Thanks, Puss in Boots. Fourth Amendment. Clown <laughs> trash, that's why we're here to help you out, okay? <laughs> stripper cop trailer. He said stripper cops. Wouldn't that be funny? Fully scripted. Maybe not so much scripted as, um, yeah, it was set up, but it was set up for not the reason that you guys think. Like, not necess not not necessarily for uh views and shit, but for her mom to get pay her rent. Cause I think she's broke broke. See that coffee canister in the background, the black one, it's got the salad dressing bottle on top of it. Yeah. That's where she normally puts her phone when she live streams is on top of that coffee canister. She said it the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, when she when she the one the one you watched when she drove home or, or she took him home early in the morning when she got home. She had to set her camera up. And she's like, where is it? Oh, coffee canister. There it is. Yeah, yeah. That's where she sets her camera. Yeah. This is just the first instance of Chantel trying to pull some bullshit yesterday. We're going to get to part two once we see the, see the cops uh, walk in. Good God. Come on, fatties. Freaking Canadian cops. There they come. Look, 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 look. Watch. She told them. Look, yeah. look at her. Why would she tell them to walk upstairs? See, she he pointed, pointed at it. He pointed at the camera. He don't want to be on it. He moved. He pointed at the camera. I think all she would have to do is get her mom to pay her rent is to threaten to move in with her mom. I think her mom demanded that she file reports on Nader and yeah. she wants to see it on her live streams if that's being done. Yeah. Uh-huh. Cop showed up. She's getting a restraining order that she will self-violate within a few days. Yep. Now, she didn't get a restraining order. She says she didn't. She had to file some kind of report, though. No, I'm playing it. It's muted. The video's playing now. She'll be back on in just a minute. Her mom called her when she returned from the police station. She said, oh, it's my mom calling. Yep, see? She went to the police station, too? Did she go to the police station? That's what somebody said. She wasn't wearing a mask. Mm. He's ready to bees. Mm -hmm. Would explain why this is forced. Yeah, I think she's panicking. I think she's out of money. I think she's big time out of money because she's made it clear that she's broke, broke. Yeah. And she's in like every time she talks about Nader, she talks about how much money she's given him and how she's broke. 
Someone said when the cop gets on the phone, he waves to the camera. Mm -mm -mm. Nah, cops always look pissed. Well, yeah, because they got to deal with this kind of bullshit, and there's real problems, I'm sure, out in Canada. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, he's on the phone. He looks to the camera, waves with his elbow. Yep. Wow. Someone is watching. She bought IMAX too? Oh, he's Chris. not. To tap it back real quick. Look at his body language. He puts that phone away and then he's mad. Tap her back. Shit. Look. Watch. Put the phone away. Watch. He's like, enough. Like, we don't have time for this bullshit. Mm -hmm. You need to get it together. Mm hmm if, if he's causing you harm, stay over here. Quit going to his house. That mm -hmm. would be what I could imagine him saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Mackenzie, they know a lot more. And Chantel is so stupid and thinks she's so untouchable. Mm -hmm. She's so, she's just so clueless. And she thinks she can do this kind of shit and get away with it. She's not going to. Mm -hmm. Eviction art coming soon. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. And I think she's panicking and asking her mom for money. And that's why, that's possibly why we got the truth video. Not necessarily because, uh, yeah, I think in a, in a, definitely she's jealous of Nider, but... I think more so that she wanted, like, her mom them to know what she's been through. Mm -hmm. they, they needed to know her story and why, you know, she's so helpless and why she's broke is because she's been taking care of this man. I'm telling y'all, every time this, after Chantel gets paid, we've got hauls. We've got three times she's eating out every day. We got all that shit. When's the last time that you actually seen her spend some money? Mm -hmm. She broke. Yeah. She broke, sure. broke. She for had to sure. pay. She had to pay everybody's bills, everybody's rent, payday loans, and God knows what else. She's broke. She's panicking. Tired of her shit, yeah. Chantel said the cop wasn't mad, but very serious and said, when this stuff happens, you call us. Do not tell it on the internet. Mm-hmm. She keeps having the police over there. She probably will get evicted. Apartments don't like that. No, they do not like that. She talked about all the cum on the unreported accident on that stream, too. Oh, yeah. She doesn't normally film that direction. Suddenly puts the cops in her video. Absolutely. We never see this uh, angle. Shopping sprees. People ate second guessing her DV claims. Honestly, I am myself. So many lies. You don't know what's the truth. The little boy that cried wolf. Mm-hmm. I agree. She took him on that gap spree just last week. Yeah, when she got paid. The money's gone. She got paid on the 21st. Here she is. Guys, I have to go for now. Um, Look how proud she is of I have to go for now. Look at her. I have something to do, but I'll be back, okay? I'm just going to wrap it up. I have to fill out, like, <laughs> People were calling because of the, um, what I talked about last night. So... I'll be back, okay? Uh, I think they're making her uh, write a statement about the accident. They said she told about the accident, too, and they're watching. That's what it is, and that's why she looks so shook when she comes back and says, I gotta go. I have to fill something out. That had nothing to do with Nader. That was the accident. You think so? I think that's, I think so. I really do. I had to pay the lady she hit while high on coke. Oh, I don't even think, dude, like, and that's the thing, like, we don't know, so we're just thinking of all the different possibilities. Drumo Rama, welcome, I see you. They don't go to the house to take reports, you have to go in. Oh, thank you, our favorite Canadian. Hold on, okay, so she I came I didn't know back. she told about the accident, but they're saying in the chat she did. Yeah, you didn't see that? I thought you watched my video yesterday. I listened to your whole stream yeah the, the video she talks about how oh, she, i did miss probably about 15 minutes well you remember that the crying video where we i made the music video and everything yeah. to it that's the day remember when he was at her house and she took him home and she was all crying and upset yeah yeah that's when she hit somebody she said she was crying driving arguing with him and reached in her purse i think to get a lighter 
and ran into somebody. And what yeah, did but- she get a lighter for while driving? <laughs> exactly. Who oh. knows? Mm-hmm. So she comes back and she titles it Dinner. Um, I, I, I really wanted to do the one after. The, let's just watch this one. Hopefully, it's only 25 minutes. Crank we, her up. We're not going to be able to talk a whole lot because I really want to get to the uh, other one. I'll put her on 1.75. Yeah, yeah. That's how slow she is. We can keep up, don't worry. Yeah. They send two if it's domestic, okay. Can you imagine the cops pull up? Hold on. Where did it go? I was reading your message. Maybe they maybe they were the ones who retracted. Yeah, okay, anyways. So. Go to her recent live before she deletes. She is back with Nider and explains why. I think she actually has anti-social personality disorder. Uh, Jesse, thank you for the super chat. I'm going to let y'all watch this. Sam, if you want to narrate or whatever, I'm going to go download it real quick. Girl, you ain't going to do no do- dirty deleting today. Oof. Not on my watch. I'm sure everybody else has got it anyways. Just saying in them. Hold on, guys. I'm just... They don't miss a beat. Stirring my soup around here. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, yeah. You right there, my friends. <laughs> I just want a piece all weekend. I just, I just want a piece. I just want a piece. <laughs> Hold on, whoever that was. Butter. <laughs> trying to get this video downloaded. And we're good. I think. Yeah. I'm just making a rice here. Okay, hold on. This makes weaning out coffee more bearable. Thanks, y'all. Oh, Sydney. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> and you're welcome. I tried to watch her newest one alone, but her smug ass attitude was too much. So I'm watching with y'all. Oh, I can't wait to watch the new one. That's the one I'm excited about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People are saying it's probably about the accident. Like, what is this, Chantel? Mm-hmm. Can we? I need to close this shit out. I need to get to where she's talking. We ain't got time for this crap. All right. Like, why can't you do that before you go one camera, girl? The onion soup is... I'm sure you saw the cops. Yes, we did. I feel like just like... Not doing live streams, maybe just like, mm. just doing videos. Oh, you shook. Are you shook? Uh, what can we I didn't see the title till now. <laughs> I'd like to file a report. <laughs> I'm okay. I had to do a report. Mm-hmm. I, it's on the accident. I'm sure it is. Already. Actually, what I'm going to do, mm. it's my fault for oversharing. I'm going to try not to overshare. Girl, what do you mean? What does she mean she's going to try not to overshare? You're literally putting a lot of people in jeopardy with your bullshit. Not only you and your crackhead boyfriend, but also the Canadian police, Chantel. Yep. It seems this is starting to be less fun, but I appreciate y'all's narration and comedic relief for this pathetic woman. Ready, set, wheeze. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Amanda. She's rage eating. Mm-hmm. Oh, she kills me. She eats the beans. What? Anyway. When does she sit like this? I just want a piece. Oh, my God. I just want a piece. Anything suspicious, like anything like you call us, will come right away. I don't know who called. They don't say. Now, do y'all remember back in when we would used to watch Chantel and her mukbangs and when she'd eat a whole block of cheese, she'd go suck up the Canadian resources in the emergency room. Mm -hmm. You see how we've shifted from the hospital resources, the Canadian medical resources on to the Canadian, Mm -hmm. uh, what do you want to call that? Police Mm -hmm. department. She's sucking up the police uh, enforcement, whatever. Now with her bullshit, Mm -hmm. with her bullshit, YouTube bullshit. Mm -hmm. Lock her up. (laughs) Throw away the key. Yeah, I do share too much, guys. So I apologize for that. You know. Well, obviously, people, yeah, sharing uh, something like that, people are gonna call the cops. You know. 
But the, the cop was like, no, that don't make sense. You telling a story that this is not, this didn't happen last night. This is where yeah. it don't make sense. This yeah. is where we're completely confused. He didn't wake up last night and start smacking you around or burn you with the cigarette or whatever it is you said. This was four months ago, I think. Mm-hmm. Who in the hell, Chantel, cares about you that much to sit there and need to file a police report from something that happened four months ago? It's not even current. Like, for what? Yeah, she was in no immediate danger. She was at in, all. yeah, he's not there. He's not in her home. He's in another home. If anything, if somebody's going to make a report about Nader, it's going to be while he's in the home, right? Yeah. So, why all of a sudden when he's not there, how come these police didn't show up while he's there? When she's streaming in her bedroom and people are so worried about her. Because we've been knowing that he, you've been talking about him hitting you. So, why ain't nobody called mm-hmm. while he's in your house to shake his ass up? Wouldn't that be a more... Mm-hmm uh the right time to call mm-hmm. so that's another indication that Chantel probably made this phone call because if it was a viewer they would have called while he was in the house or they called because of the accident or they would have sent the police to his house yeah Mm-mm. something like this happens you need to call us and like not share online like like it's true like maybe a story time it was like something that happened like in the past past do you know what I mean? But it's not something that happened when I Hey, Joda. Oh, God. Ooh, see what Tally said? Nope. They would never go to the house like that. They call ahead unless someone's called a complaint on you. He was taking an accident report. I think it's like now I'm even more worried. Oh, hell. Sam, I love your laugh. Every time you laugh, <laughs> I laugh because your laugh makes me laugh. <laughs> laugh for my soul. Aw, thank you. For my safety. Like, <laughs> because, anyway. This is now so messy. Done turn the camera around. Mm-hmm. But oh, what, what? You know the cops are gone, so you're back to business, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm glad we're back to our normal uh, viewing angle, Chantel. And I feel she like seems what a call. Shocked, doesn't she? She kind of does. I can't, I can't read it. I don't know if she's made this call or if like y'all are saying they came over the accident. I think they came over the accident. I do. But what are the odds that Chantel has her camera turned around the other way? Like she's expecting mm-hmm. them and she wants to get it all on a video. I think. Okay. Sam thinks they came over the... I'm going to make a poll in the chat. That's okay. what I'm going to do. Okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The farms have the dispatch call. She didn't call it. Well, I mean, she could have somebody else do it for her, for sure. Well, they have the call? Also, it, they, yeah, it says... Or the, I think maybe the dispatch log. But the cop was not happy about something. Yeah. I mean, if they were there to take a domestic violence report from the victim, you know, I don't think he would have been so... Oh, Tally says they called ahead. They always do. Uh-huh. Oh, so she knew they were coming? She knew they were coming. How do they call ahead if they don't know your number? Mm, maybe they must know it. Oh, wait. I don't need that one. Hold on. There we go. There's a poll in the chat. So what's the, I, did I not check the farms this morning? Are y'all reading something that I'm not? Because y'all said some shit yesterday and I didn't see it. Can you, uh, you got your phone? No, I'll go get it. Go get your phone. I'm totally unprepared this morning. I see that. The cop was clearly irritated. Yeah, because I, I'm sure they can see in their uh, reports that the, they've been coming here quite often recently. And that's the thing. Like, Cops get upset when they have to go to, like, a couple's house and they have to continuously keep going because they're fighting constantly. They're, you know, hooping, hollering, screaming, yelling. Neighbors are calling. Like, they're sick of it, okay? And if they're sick of coming to uh, tell you to knock it the fuck off because you can't get your shit together in your house, how do you think they feel because you are literally willing to sit down and tell all this shit to your people and it's causing them to waste their time to come there. Like, you're not even, it, it's not even like that. You're not even in the least bit of danger at this point. Mm-mm, exactly. Pull up the farms and see. In a sad way, it cares more about me than I care about myself because I should have done that from the get-go. <laughs> Especially with the history. I've got the messages. I'm going to show the messages in a minute. Of, uh, that kind of thing, you know? But anyway. Hey, Samantha. I thought, like, I didn't actually think, like, it's so, like, naive. Like, I don't think, I didn't think these people actually existed. I hey, Lindsay. Movie, but you know what I mean? Yeah. 
when I saw like the gap, like when you said Gabby Petito, Kristen, you're so sweet. I was like, when I saw her, like when the cops like pulled her over and she was like crying, like that, I, I look like, that's how I felt like I was crying when like I got in the accident when I was crying. That right there needs to be clipped and played over and over and over because Cancer Warrior already told me that she's walking it back and they're back together. I haven't watched that video yet, but she's comparing herself and her situation to Gabby Petito. If you don't know who that was, that's yeah. a woman that made national headlines because um, her and her boyfriend were living the van life and they, you know, just, what do you want to call it? They just surfed around in their van, you know, from place to place. Yeah. And uh, she was murdered by her boyfriend. And she's comparing her situation, hey, DC, to, to Gabby. That's disgusting. Get the cops called for them wrestling out on the lawn once a month. <laughs> Dead. Somebody on the farms is looking into uh, Nader's like court background, and and all, they're not finding nothing. No, nope, all they're filing uh, finding is an eviction request. Yeah, that's another thing. I don't know how the Canadian uh, records work, but according to them, the only thing that they're finding over there is the fact that he's been evicted. As of right now, there's been nothing found as far as um, a stabbing. Mm -mm. And I would think that would be public. Like, you're not going to be able to hide that. The charge would be on there. The, the charge would be on there. Hey, fit and curvy. If you stab somebody in the United States, it's going to be a public record. I can't imagine why Canada wouldn't, would hide that. And the woman was like, you know. And there's going to be like a woman who comes to like talk to me about stuff. I don't know. Could help, you know. You listening to this. Does anybody, are, is anybody aware that on her second channel, she uploaded and edited her abuser's video to her mm -hmm, second channel? Mm -hmm. Who she's telling you right now that she's scared of because what happened to Gabby might happen to her. She's got a woman that's coming and talking to her and everything. Mm -hmm. Why is this woman editing her abuser's video and uploading them on the YouTubes? Hmm? Hold on, that's my mom. So I'm just oh. eating... Cucumber, oh. feta, olives. Shit. Shit. Hold on. Oh, God. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Sam? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to play it back. Mm -hmm. I think it's called fabricated BS for attention. They're getting a lot of calls because of complaints, and I think that's why they showed up at the door. It's pathetic. Raw Liabetes, good morning, and welcome to the show. Glad you can make this one. Uh, I'm going to play this, and then we're going to move on to the next one because I feel like she's going to say the same shit. She's a victim. Poor pity me. Uh, I'm getting abused. I'm going to end up like the person that was just on national news for getting killed by their boyfriend. That's going to be me. Yeah, she, that's what she's doing. Say it again. I don't she's know. Gonna... Could help, you know. <laughs> Hold on, that's my mom. Hold on, that's my mom. When's the last time you've heard uh, Chantel's mother calling her? Mm -hmm. Especially while she's live. I think she's out of money and trying to get her mom to pay her bills. That's what I think. Uh, let's move along. Okay, we don't have time to go through every single stream that Chantel does because Chantel streams 24-7. Uh, yesterday, if you were able to catch it, it was only up for less than 60 seconds. At 1.47 p.m., Chantel and Nader are exchanging text, text messages supposedly okay according to Chantel, we know that Chantel has multiple phone devices that's no secret or this could be her and not her in together we don't know make your own conclusion we're just here to give you the pieces of the puzzles okay uh Chantel, you fucked your name when you hit me do you understand do you understand you hurt my cat and now she hates you do you understand all the money i've given you do you understand you have anger problem we can't be together. I need to focus on myself. You need to take responsibility for yourself now. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Nodder. And I, I will. And I will take my right. If you don't call me and fix what you did, so you are my enemy forever. Delphine number two. And for the record, it's been pointed out that, uh, is it Delphine, Delphine, whatever, her name is, was his ex-girlfriend who passed away, I believe, from some kind of medical conditions, okay? Oh I think a lot of people wanted to believe that it was because of Nader uh, had something to do with that, but I don't think that's the case. Her name is spelt wrong. This is his ex, so did he hurt the cat or not? Exactly, DC, because that's something else. Chantel is exploiting animal abuse. Is anybody surprised, okay? It's just what it is. Um, he spelt his own ex- 
ex-girlfriend's name wrong. Right. And they were to get together for quite some time. So mm-hmm. it has been speculated. Make your own mind up about that. What is that? I don't know. That this could be Chantel uh, texting herself. Because she screenshotted it, put it on Instagram. She titled it, putting it this out there just in case. Just in case what, Chantel? Just in case what? Mm-hmm. Why are you posting this on social media instead of sending it to, you know, your local police department? They are both toxic as fuck. Right. Hey, you have your theory? I have mine. I think she's trying to hit up her mom for rent money. I think yep. she wants her mom to believe that they're done. But who knows? Maybe we'll hear in her new video that she actually flat out admits that they're still together. So after the police came, boy, you're a whole fucking handful, Chantel. Can we just get one video and knock it out? Like, I'm all over the place. After the police came and um, she ate dinner or whatever, I don't know. She went live in the middle of the night. This was streamed four hours ago, which... So she she was live when I woke up at uh, 6 o'clock this morning. So this is this morning's video. Early, early, in the middle of the night. You remember when she would used to go to Nodders and she'd drive home and she'd be at the McDonald's ordering her food? It's around that time, except we're just missing the drive through part. We're just missing the drive through part. That's what we're missing right now. You know, I don't know about in Canada, but in the United States, literally, if you have the date, time, and the address, you can call the local police dispatch and ask them what the call was for. And they'll tell you. It's public record. And I thought you could get the uh, actual... Um, you can get the 911 call. You can get everything. Yeah, we've we've had to get a few 911 calls. When, what was the 911 calls? It was over Pam and Rick on one, and it seems like there was another one that we had to get. Trisha. Was it Trisha? Uh-huh. Why was I thinking Jamie? Like, Jamie had something to do with this. But anyways, yeah, over here, you can get 911 calls. Who knows? I mean, is it cow tipping at this point? Pfft, who fucking cares? I'd play that 911 call in a heartbeat. Okay. I mean, we're, you know, we're just trying to figure out the pieces to the puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to over-speculate. I mean, I'm not telling the Kiwi Farm to, <laughs> 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 to go calling around for no uh, 911 calls, you know. Wouldn't want to put that out there. My mom is visiting from Canada, and I'm introducing her to the shit show. Everyone say hi. Love you, Sam. love mom. (laughs) Hey, Canadian mother. (laughs) I'm half Canadian, too, by the way. (laughs) It's my Canadian sister. (laughs) Not in Canada. Wow. Look at her putting her filters on. Look at her. Take on me. (laughs) Wow. Take on me take on me take me uh. (laughs) sorry i'm just having some fun here normal oh look there's somebody here maya hi what date are we on i went live like five times today yes you have we don't appreciate that I've got to put her on 175. I also tried to yeah. sleep five times a day. <laughs> in different cat's pajamas. Where'd you go, Sam? What are you doing on my blooming bag, Sam? What are you doing? Hey, Vodka Lullaby. It's five in the morning. There's probably not even going to be anybody on here. <laughs> At five in the morning? I doubt it. Am I okay? Hey, Troy. Yes. <laughs> it's early for this shit. I'm just fine. I swear I was just thinking the same thing. It looks like a damn hospital gown. No, it's our one piece cat pajamas. Oh, here it is. Oh, hold on. What? I think this is the audio. Is this the call? It's 31 minutes. Hold on, guys. What did they say this was? This is the dis- a recording of Dispatch, but it doesn't give a time stamp. It's 31. 31- oh, three minutes into this recording. Love the farms. Hold on, guys. We're going to pause Stand this by. for a second. Stand by. <laughs> New intel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did I miss this? <laughs> Somebody said, Stand by. That's what the police say. <laughs> <laughs> well, we 
are kind of detectives. No, yeah, I'm gonna are. I'm gonna pull it up and play it on the computer. Oh, hold what on. page was, was it on? Um, shit, dude. Hold on. Oh boy, they watching. got a lot of stuff over here, huh? What's going on? Yeah, four eight eight four. Four eight eight. See, oh, wow. I see. I don't know what happened this morning, but somehow I guess I did not check. It's probably about to delete. Mm. Brush. <laughs> 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 Don't you go starting again? <laughs> Is this it? Uh huh. Three minutes. Oh, it's this. Uh huh. She's known to the police officer that she doesn't need an address. Just go to CS Place. They've got several calls for this visit, so her chat called the cops, not Chantel. Oh, so it's confirmed, huh? Maybe. We'll see. What What minute? Three do minutes. This will get it. Stop there. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering in the chat, this is the... What, what I guess is, it's the recording, the dispatch recording from that day. So, we'll see. Hey, Della 203, we've had several calls with this female on niche, and she is uh, oh. cautioned Sierra 10-4. From November 604. Three November 604, go ahead. Do we know if this uh, worker is in a vehicle or on foot? And do we have an updated look? I'll call and see what I can find for you. Thanks. Did I miss it? Yeah, go back to three minutes. I didn't hear it. Did I miss it? Shit. Maybe I drifted off. Hell, I don't remember. He said three They're minutes. They're saying CS stands for Caution Sierra, which is a suicide risk. Oh, really? Or self-harm. Let me play it again. We'll just go another minute, guys. I want to hear it again because I didn't hear anything. Hey, Della 203, we've had several calls with this female on niche, and she is a uh, cautioned Sierra 10-4. Mm. Oh, okay, there it was. On niche, what does that mean? Oh. There's the money shot. Let's let's do it again. Let's take it back again. She said the money shot. Hey, Della 203, we've had several calls with this female on niche, and she is a uh, cautioned Sierra 10-4. From November 604. Three November 604, go ahead. Do we know if this uh, worker is in a vehicle or on foot? And do we have an updated look? Go back before that. Go back to like 2.30. I'll call and see what I can find for you. Hold on. Niche RMS is a modern, full-featured police records management system, especially suitable for large agencies. <laughs> that, so that's what she meant by we've got a lot of calls for this female on niche. No, that's it. 
three double two oh three. We've had several calls with this female on niche and she is a cautioned Sierra ten four. And uh, I mean, yeah, I, I guess that's about Chantel. There's no like address given or anything to confirm that's who they're talking about. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they think they have it narrowed down to that. <sighs> yeah, we can't be sure uh, that's even about her. It's still speculation. Yeah, there's no like address or anything like that was yeah, given off. Yeah, they just matched it up by the time, local time. Oh, is that what they did? They matched yeah. it up by the time, guys. Like they figured out what time that was said. And it was around the same time, I guess, so. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go back to the video, though, and keep, uh, let's watch what she talked about last night. Let me pull it back out. I also tried to... Those calls have to be out there, though. Like, I'd like to hear those calls and just see what people are saying. Sleep five times today. <laughs> In different cat's pajamas. Where'd you go, Sam? What are you doing on my poop my bag, Sam? What are you doing? Hmm. It's five Welcome in the morning. There's probably not even going to be anybody on here. <laughs> so there was a big gap. So, so it's five in the morning. <laughs> uh, there was a very big gap in the live streams uh, yesterday. Let's take a look at the timeline. Because that's that's important to uh, note, too. Because, you know, since she's uh, hiding out from her abuser and all. Let's see. Oh, wow. So, she's she streamed 12 hours ago. 34, 34 minutes. So, she was missing for nine hours last night. Wow. So, when do you guys not know Chantel to be, not to be live when she's home? You know, yeah. by herself, alone. So there was nine hours that Chantel was missing yesterday and she magically appears at the time that she always magically appears after she leaves her boyfriend's house that she's making this whole mm -hmm. thing about the spectacle. Except normally we have her driving back, but she skipped all that. Mm -hmm. Hey, sweet leaf. At five in the morning? I doubt it. Hello. Who's up at five? Chantel, because she just got home. Be my guess. Yes. What was she doing in that nine hours? I'm Chantel streams fine. her whole life. <sighs> she was editing. She was at his house editing his video. Or maybe she was just at home editing his video. I don't know. Who knows? She drives me crazy anyways. Look at that. Go to bed. Well, she just woke up. Then why is she tired? Hey, sophisticated cat. <gasps> what are you doing, Sam? On my, on my bag, Sam. No marks from the CPAP. You know yep. better than this. Oh, Get the cat out of the damn sink. Jesus. Jesus. Check his bowl. I know that the kids just gave him water and food. Come on, Maxwell. That is not how you take that. Oh. <laughs> water. Food. Is it Dowda? I get it, dude. I really do. I get that Chantel is a lot, but we are here just to watch the show. That's it. Right. Don't let it don't let it drain you. Right? Because like we said yesterday. We don't even know if this shit's even real. Or if it's all just scripted bullshit. She uploaded uh, Nader's video two hours before she went live with this video. <laughs> hey, DG. Thank you. His clothes are not in the closet. <clears throat> oh, in the poll? Okay, so y'all think they were there for the DV report. I'll end it. Sorry. There. Yeah, it takes up a lot of chat space on your phone. Sorry. Well, he don't, it's not so much the sink water, I think, because he has a thing for uh, when my kids make cereal, they've left, like, the bowl of milk around, yeah. and he's found his ass drinking the milk, and he knows where he, they put their bowls when they're done eating. They put them in the sink, so he thinks it's going to be milk. 
And then he's over there drinking water where they, you know, we're washing her uh, dish out. <laughs> it was a SWAT call. Yeah, I, I'm assuming. I don't know, Keto Girl. It sounds like uh, the Kiwi Farms has it pretty much pinpointed. His clothes haven't been in the closet for days. Where did she go? Hello? She's going potty, I think. Jesus Lord. Hold on. Hi, everybody. My lips are so dry. Lunatic, I agree. I can agree with that. And notice... She's been more on the sober side in the last, what, two days? Mm -hmm. Out of money for drugs. Mm -hmm. She had to pee. <coughs> Hakuna Irritatis. <laughs> My legs are so bad. Um, that noise was, you know, those um, door stopper doing, doing things. <laughs> Why did you edit and upload Nadra's new video after putting it in? I didn't upload it. Um, I had already started helping him with the editing process. So, I finished it. Well, if you didn't upload it, who uploaded it? If you're telling me you didn't upload it, Chantel, who did? Mm. Look, she's being very careful. Actually, I do want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I don't hate him. Like, Here we go, people. Buckle up. Remember, please don't get yourself emotionally invested, okay? Because she's yeah. about to walk it back. I just want you all to be prepared for that. If you thought that she was going to run and we were never going to see Nader again, you're sadly mistaken, okay? Just try just to just to watch it and not put your emotions into it. <laughs> I don't know how to make people understand that. Like, I don't hate this person. I don't want them to be stuck. I don't want them to, to just leave them high and dry. Um, she is on 1.75. Wow. She is extremely, extremely sped up. Normally, when you have a video on 1.75, it's hard to understand. She is on 1.75, guys. If I can help him help himself, I would prefer to do think. that. So him learning how to edit. Oh, no. I lied. <laughs> um, Get it together. <laughs> you know what I mean? I She's on 1.75 now. I don't to say. Sorry. Plain cheeseburgers. You're awake. <coughs> Kaylee Sam. You don't follow out of love overnight, damn it, Danny. Yeah, definitely distance <laughs> for sure, Flo. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Like I just this one video, and now <sighs> I'm tired. What's going on here? Nothing exciting. I'm not talking loud because I think Pete's sleeping. Since Why when do does she wanna... care? Huh? I want to brush my ugly hair. I want to, I want to diet and wash it. Wash and die tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that video wasn't filmed today. It was like the other day. I can't sleep. I'm okay, Kaylee. I look like I want to smile. <clears throat> Thanks, damn it, Danny. You should go to your appointment. Well, my appointment is a phone appointment, and it's at like 6 p.m., so I'm good. <laughs> like evening which is my preference thank you Matt T sure I'll let you know how it goes <laughs> did I tell Pete what happened yeah I don't think so at romantic yeah romantic bookworm um my feet stink may I remind you that um, I didn't call the cops with someone else, so <laughs> the whole police report was actually like forced on me. I didn't call the police. Um, I didn't want to make this a legal thing at all. Liana, thank you. 
I agree. And <clears throat> hey, hey, Dad, come here. Hey, here's what I think really hurt her the most. Her chat is very forgiving, and they are pretty stupid when it comes. I, I feel bad, honestly, as much shit as I talk about the VIBs, I kind of feel bad for them because I, I feel like a lot of them struggle with their own mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And so, like, and Chantel takes full advantage of that. You know what I mean? And she, yeah. like, Annie is definitely, like, obviously has some serious problems. Yeah. A lot of them. I just want to be so we can. I just want to be. Are there for the shit show, there to troll, it's not their life, they don't give a shit, but I think there's a lot of them that really suffer with the mental health. Mm -hmm. But I think what really hurts Chantel the most, guys, and I know you think that, you know, she's going to be able to walk it back and she's going to be able to bring him back through the door. We And we talked about this yesterday, which is so crazy. Every time I talk about something, Chantel ends up, you know, talking about it. Uh -huh. What did I say yesterday was the worst thing that you can do? Like, it's right up there with, you know, being a predator. It's, you're an animal abuser. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember I said, like, if they find out that he's actually abusing the cats and she said all that and then walked it back and said he wasn't and then she posts those DMs on Instagram, I think that she could have walked it because they don't, they really like, okay, Chantel, if you want to put yourself in danger, that's one thing. But if you bring him back to your house after you just said, do I need to show you all again? Where's it at? Right here. You fucked your name when you hit me. Do you understand? Do you understand you hurt my cat and now she hates you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to escape that, Chantel. Okay? People really honestly, to be quite honest, I mean, a lot of people don't want to say it, but nobody gives a fuck about you. Mm -hmm. If you want to keep going to this man's house and you have no ties to him and you're going to cry wolf, you know, when you want some attention, so be it. We'll, people will be here to watch the shit show. But when you've got your little innocent cat who can't do anything to get away from this man that you have publicly now stated on your Instagram, he abused your cat. You got a big problem, girlfriend. Yeah. If you think you're going to walk this man back into uh, your show. They made a whole day gum Netflix special on it. Don't F with cats. It's serious. It's big deal. Big deal, girlfriend. Cats especially for some reason. Yeah, cat, cats, yeah, yeah, cats, I mean, people will value, a, a, this is just honesty, people will value, and it's, I get why, they value, and not so much they value, but people are more protective over animals than they are actual humans, because, it, it, what can an animal do to defend themselves? What, exactly. How could BBJ, she's old, she's elderly, get away from Notter? Yeah. She can't, Chantel. So, once again, now... If you bring your man back into your little uh, VIB box, I feel like you're going to have a real serious problem because those people might be shitty people, but I don't think that they're going to um, let that animal abuse shit slide. I'm, I don't think you're going to let that happen, are you, uh, VIBs? We'll, we'll see, though. We'll watch and see what happens. And BBJ is 19 years old. I mean, yeah, and you're right, but that don't even matter. Hell, she could be two years old. You come in and kick my cat, bitch, I'm going to probably... It's going to be a big problem. Can't be glued to the cats before brats. Wow. Yeah. Another thing is also like the 15 minions are supporting them after everything. Please stop. What? Is that for me? That message? I don't understand. Um, so yeah. What was I saying? The cats are fighting. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> I know, damn it, Danny. Shane Jasmine's video was funny, huh? Oh, she wrote that text just so she... Good God. Webcamschat.com. Yeah. Hey, webcamschat. Is it free? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of porn you got over there? Yeah, hey, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Slow down, Sam. <laughs> um, That text that she wrote, this one right here, she made sure that she got everything that she needed to say. Her abuse, the cat's abuse, money. She got it all summed up in one paragraph, sent it, let him respond, and posted it. Because she wanted to make sure that, that she showed everybody that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bet you're going to regret that one, Chantel. Because, see, people don't give a fuck. If you want to go let some man some some man put out cigarettes in your face, that's your problem. Okay? Sorry. Truth hurts. But your cat, on the other hand, that's going to be a big problem, Chantel. That's a dumb super chat message. Grow up. <laughs> I love a sassy cheeseburger. How long? <laughs> Wait a minute, though. One more and I'm going to shut up. How long before she gets mad because people are more concerned over BBJ's uh, safety than her own? How long before we hear, people are more concerned over my cat? I told you he put cigarettes out on me and nobody even cares. All you're worried about is the cat. How In long? Three, 
two, one. Yep. <laughs> it was funny video, yeah. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> Veronica. Like, I'm okay, Sandra. Vegas doll, hello. Um. So yeah, like when I told my story, I was just telling you guys like what happened. You know what I mean? So. Okay, now that like you a- told us. We don't give a shit. The only thing we care about is your cat that you're letting get abused by your boyfriend. That's all we care about. Mm-hmm. Who, you've let this man come in your home and abuse your cat and you're uploading videos to his channel so he can profit from them. Mm-mm. Anybody want to explain that to me? Hey, Jennifer. A couple of months ago. So at this point, we have already, like, we had already decided to try to make things work regardless. So, do you know what I mean by that? Anyway, uh, I'm just not gonna talk about it anymore because I'm just tired of like trying to explain myself, and I just confuse people more. <laughs> Got a cram for exams. <laughs> the emojis are cool. <laughs> Is that truth video? Oh, she took it down. That's right. Now. I knew someone was gonna say that. My feet stink. No, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not saying that because I'm saying I want to make it work. Because the problem still remains that, like, what happened affects how I feel today. Even though I was like, yes, I want to make it work, like. I just really need to focus on myself. Like, I can't be in a committed relationship with somebody, you know? Especially when I have trouble, like, (laughs) after two days, I have, like, a panic attack, you know? Yeah, like, deep down, exactly. I still didn't forgive him fully. And it's been, like, it resurfaces by me taking out my anger on him and just, like, making him mad over and over again. And, you know? (laughs) She told the cops it was her story time Again, over and over, she keeps using the word story. That's a good point, Nisi. Mm-hmm. Very good point. Yeah. Yeah, it's very toxic. For sure. <clears throat> you hurt my cat, you will meet the maker. Good morning, yeah, I think that the cycle... Hey, Jen. I know what you're talking about. Like, you start by... Thank her, she won't like, go. Like, like toxic cycle where you end on a really bad note, and every time it's worse. It ends on a worse and worse note. Um, and then something like small, you know, like try to wedge your way back into each other's life somehow. Like, do you know what I mean? No. To go on. No, we don't. Thing. Thanks, Jessica, for the super chat. Yeah. Can um, I slow the chat? I need to definitely focus on myself because I've just been like getting worse and worse. <laughs> Not better. No, oh, thank you. Know, you know, like I'm supposed to get better. And relationships are so demanding. Very, very, very demanding. I really think it's worse on myself, but self love. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> A lot of work, yeah. That kills me. <laughs> Vegas fixing. They can be. Hi, Missy Jesse. No. That's what you call a sharp fart. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy the mornings with you all. Oh, thank you, Vicky. I'm well, trying to slow the chat. Feel, I don't yeah. think it's too bad, is it? That's no, true. It's not. Single life is best. Single life is very much uh, less stress when it comes to... I have, like, chin hair. I think I have chin hair. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Anyway. There's a huge spider. You better not come near me. I don't usually kill... Oh, this is gonna be good. There's a fruit fly and the spider is hungry. They kill it because spiders eat the stupid annoying bugs. Here he comes. I want to see him catch they the do fruit PMA. Fly. They're creepy. Spiders are creepy. Hotel at a time, relax. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Get the bugs, Sam. Get the bugs. Clarissa Mansbridge, look at what you have put all your audience through. You're just as vile as this whole situation. There is no helping you. What? The fuck? I don't understand comments like that. What did I put you guys through? Oh, did you I mean you to watch show my her chat? Did I force- oh. What is she going to go off about? Hold on. Did she force something? I understand comments like that. What did I put you guys through? Did I force you to watch my videos? Did I force you, Clarissa That's and Mans- so inconsiderate. That is just so inconsiderate. I don't know how to show her chat, damn it. For her to sit there and sit there and talk about her abuse and then how she's walking it back and going back and how she still loves him and she doesn't understand how that could wait. Like, I have to really tell our audience, like, disconnect. She doesn't do that. Like, she just weighs down, weighs down, weighs down, and weighs down, and yeah, weighs yeah. down with them. 
it's she's an she's abusive to her audience. I yeah. mean, that's a thing. You can be. I can't show her chat. I'm sorry. I don't know how to. Or whatever your fucking name is. Listen. You put yourself through it. That is just so. F Chantel, honey, mm -hmm. come on. Have some feelings. Don't you know that people in your chat have dealt with this? And they're just trying to tell you? Listen. What did I put you guys through? Did I force you to watch my videos? Did I force you, Clarissa Manscape or whatever your fucking name is? You put yourself through it. <clears throat> okay? God, she's the worst. Oh, sorry. Sorry. See, and she's the type of person that would blame a woman for their abuse. Yeah. She really is. Why she wants to sit out here and want everybody to feel sorry for her. She is the type of person to blame another woman mm -hmm. for getting abused. Mm -hmm. Or for, you know, for anything happening to them. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't think of you when I was going through uh, abusive part of our relationship. I didn't think of you when I made decisions in my life. I apologize. Chantel, they're not telling you that you should have made better decisions. They're telling you that you're, you're trauma dumping. Yep. Not only are you trauma dumping, but you keep walking it back, dude. I just want a piece all weekend. I just want a piece. <laughs> I look forward to these lives every morning. Uh, also, these super chats interrupting her serious times always makes me laugh. She tries to get it right on cue. Thank you, Jen. That's funny. <laughs> she is a woman that well, hates other women. My feet stink. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> but, sorry, just the word vile. Um, I, I, like your back with you. I, I think that's like a pretty common thing, isn't it, though? Like, it's not easy to just leave people that you have feelings for. You know, like, people have to learn on their own. <clears throat> Casey's not that still doesn't, like, me yeah, going back with Casey's not saying she's leaving the chat. She's saying she's disconnecting from what she can't put motion. She can't put emotion into it. That's yeah. what I want you guys to do. Do not invest emotions into Chantel. And that's a good point that we just said. Chantel hates women. I want you all to remember that. She absolutely hates women. Okay? It's a thing. It's been a thing. We've talked about it before. It's true. Okay? She hates women because she hates herself. Yeah. She, yeah. She, I guess she feels like they're competition and she's mm -hmm. jealous of anybody, you know? Mm hmm him how is that like me doing something purposely to hurt you guys like i don't understand that yeah hey danny <sighs> i'll work on it around this time it's like 5 30 in the morning here it's crazy Yeah. All well, these old videos that watch you are very pathetic. I'm just doing it like very upset. Well, that's not my fault. That's not my problem. My feet stink. I'm not responsible for people's feelings, right? I mean, you know. Goldilocks partly just culture. Yeah, I think so. I think partly for sure, yeah. Maybe partly. Um. Oh, hold on, pause. Purple drink Yoshi says, yeah, I think she's I think got so. some big resentment issues with her mom as part of the women hating too, especially her obsession with older women. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Good point. I, I find it weird that Chantel, um, the way that she hates women, then comes on here and wants people to sympathize with her, with the situation that she's exploiting, running back and forth with this man. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. I, cause I, I say that because I've seen a comment somebody said about me personally. Um, I guess because I'm not falling in line with the bullshit that Chantel says. They say that I'm what they say? I'm anti-woman? Made some, And that's so far. I Not no, at all. No, no. I'm so far from the truth. I mean, hell, we were just talking about the war on women. Yeah. A couple, like, a week ago. Okay? But, no, that's not. I mean, Chantel, I'm sorry, is the exception. There's always an exception out there. And Chantel is the exception. I'm sorry. I'm not going to take what Chantel says for gossip. I'm not going to feel sorry for her. I'm not going to think that she's out here getting abused and she's running back and buying this guy Tommy Hilfiger and new shoes. And no, I'm not. And I'm not a woman hater or anti-woman. That is so far from the truth. So far from the truth. <clears throat> the only what? women she doesn't mind are the women she feels are beneath her. Uh, bitching and eating is a, is a good yes. example. Yes. 
Okay, bitching and eating is a real good example of uh, women that Chantel is okay with. Anne Berlin, uh, at one point it was life by Jen, and why does she think that she those women are beneath her? Because they weigh more than she does. Yep. I don't know. I just don't know what to say anymore about anything. People think that domestic violence gives her a pass for everything. It doesn't. Amanda, thank you so much. I do love the kitty, okay? <laughs> and I, I'm not going to just fall in love. I'm, I'm not going to just fall in love. Fall for just bullshit that comes out of people's mouths. Like, there's you know, what two sides to every story and then the truth. Yeah. Okay? Full. Yeah. Fart, poo-poo, figgle farts. Where did you come up with that name? <clears throat> Let's have a biscuit kind of day. Yes, I did help him edit. See? I had already started it. Like, I, I wasn't with him when I did it. I could do it from my bed. But you said you didn't upload it. Yes, Callie. No, I, I'm going to say all is forgiven. She's anti BS. Ruthie Ruth, thank you so much. It's true. <laughs> Olivia, I'm late. I like her name. <laughs> That's right, Sandra. I'm home alone. Harry Balls, I agree. Yeah, like me being with a woman has nothing to do with anti-woman. Yeah, I could, I could be with a woman and be anti-woman, absolutely. But I'm, that's not the point. I'm not. I'm totally for like uh, lifting up women. I know it yeah. may not seem that way, but yeah, absolutely, it's no, a you thing. Totally are. Yeah. Eating cashews and Daiko. And this is my fifth time on live stream, so I mean. Don't know, bunny. <laughs> exactly. I'm getting home. Yes, Heather Marie, thank you. <laughs> Funny girl agreed. What is it? Right on Kiwi Barnes. I can't stop eating. <sighs> exactly, Nikki. You want bread and cheese? <laughs> Hey, sugar fly. No, why are you guys going to ask me every fucking five yeah. minutes? Yeah, hi, yeah, by the Sam support group. <laughs> hey, Nee Marie. Thank you for a super chat. I'm not getting my weight back. Actually, yes, I am. But I'm going <laughs> to go back on them. Mm. No. Danielle, hi. Sodium. <laughs> dead. Fucking dead. <clears throat> I'm eating a lot of sodium. That's why I'm bloated as fuck. Danielle, hi. <laughs> Thanks, Cancer Warrior. I need to, like... I don't know. <clears throat> I have not been to Baguette Trixie. Oh, who, who was it that said this? Idea. Who was it that said the the window of Chantel missing from her last live stream to this live stream was said, well, maybe she was asleep. Did you just hear what Chantel said? Mm -hmm. What'd she say? What'd she say? I missed it. Haven't been to bed yet. Oh. Huh. So when, you, when Chantel's not in bed, you know, I mean, when Chantel's not asleep, she's on the internet. Okay. Yeah. That's just how it works. Did she publicly do this for inheritance theory? Ooh. I mean, it's yeah, exactly butter, uh, butter crumpet. Oh, I like your name, Buttered Crumpet. <laughs> you would like that name. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that, that's a good theory, okay? Uh, her mom told yeah. her, look, you, and I'm not saying that her grandma has money. I'm just saying it's a possibility. You get your shit together, you get your money. You yeah. get rid of that man, you show proof of it. Yeah, maybe. But that goes against what happens in this stream. What uh -huh. happens in this stream is that she's still editing videos for him. She's walking about, but maybe she feels comfortable going online because she's so stupid. She thinks her mom won't see the video. Because it's 5 o'clock in the freaking morning. Sending love and support to the group. Sincerely, the non beezing KB. <laughs> Thank you, KB. Weight loss medication? No, I didn't like it. Oh, the Ozempic? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. I'm not. Did we hear it? Did you hear it? You ain't even paying attention, motherfucker. I don't I'm know in what... the chat. I'm sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> Listen, okay, hold on, y'all. We got, we got to play it back. 
Okay, listen. I'm going to put it in slow-mo just because I want to be petty. Box medication. No, I didn't like it. All the Ozempic. Thank you, Tasha. What? Pete's fine. Pete's fine. <laughs> Telly fine. Wait, wait for it. Look at her. She's like, these motherfuckers. This is my channel. Mm -mm -mm. Supposed to be worried about me. I just told my story. Mm -hmm. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was good. That was great. That was good work, Chantel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pete is fine. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm, I'm not. not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I just got to hear it again. And we won't play it in slow mo, but still, I just got to hear it again because it was too good. Chantel with her diamonds. I did hear her say that, Jen Mount. She said, pizza's fine, guys. He had a lamb dinner last night. I heard that. I was like, wow. <laughs> lamb dinner. I think I have some dandelions here. Weight loss medication? No, I didn't like it. Oh, the Ozempic? Grandma who? I'm <laughs> <laughs> now back to me. Listen. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had messed up dreams. Damn it. I feel like I missed it. Hold on. I don't care. It's too good. Like she, that's she said, I've always had messed up dreams. When did you know that she's even tormented in her sleep? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I have not been to baguette trick soon. I think I have some dandelions here. Weight loss medication? No, I didn't like it. Oh, the Ozempic? It's fine. I'm not. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> she tells like, what do I got to do to prove to you people that I'm over here just suffering, okay? I've created a video. I've labeled it my story. I've had police at my house. I've showed you my abusive boyfriend who I buy all kinds of cool new stuff and I upload videos and make him a YouTube celebrity. I'm struggling, guys, okay? Look at me over here eating my uh, crumpets <laughs> and drinking tea before bed. I'm not okay. Chantel needs a shirt that says, that would have been a perfect title for the live stream. I'm, I'm not, not okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've always had messed up dreams. Wishy flowers? <laughs> so cute, wishy flowers. Fecal matter, ew. She's the worst. Absolutely, she is. <clears throat> Can you imagine? Like, this has got to be some kind of record that we haven't seen Chantel eating fast food or some kind of takeout in her live streams. Do you know how many videos that she has recorded and, and went live with in the sense of the last time that we've seen her with food. A lot. A long time, people. She broke. She poor. She's out of money. No pesos. No. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not that easy because we do love each other. Mm -hmm. And we're moving on from that incident. But From that incident she, she you told us once you tell your story you like once you look look once you if you were in like, whatever man once you're in an abusive relationship and you have to suffer through all that and you actually get the you know found a way to escape and you know you take back your power and everything and you come clean it could be a six months it could be two years it could be ten years before you decide to tell your story but once you've told the story once you've told the story that that's it 
done son there ain't no we're gonna work it out and we're gonna move forward you can't tell your story and then say and put all this public and then go back with your abuser that's not how it works and don't tell me you don't know everybody's situation well i'm gonna tell you now we if know her situation if did i glitch they can hear me i think yeah if y'all are out here and somebody's in a domestic violence relationship okay and you tell your story and then you go back with your abuser there's a whole big there's I, I, it's unheard of it's unheard of like get out of here Chantel you don't go telling my story on the internet to go back with the, the person hey Jelly Bean especially when your abuser lives in a different province like she's got to travel on the freeway to get to him he does not have a car. Yeah. Like, you you literally have to drive to him. Like, you are you know he doesn't have money. He doesn't work. He probably doesn't have debit cards. If he does get money, it's probably cash. He ain't calling no Uber. Remember the last, last stream when she was like, I feel like somebody's looking in my window. When the last time they got into it or one of those times? No, that was all, that was lies. Hey, cat servant. I didn't see you come in. You remember? Remember she was like, I just feel like I'm being watched. By who, bitch? You think he's going to, what, foot it over there? Mm -mm -mm. You think he's going to Fred Flintstone his ass to your apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Chantel. <laughs> You've exploited everything about this, and people want to sit there and say, you can't, you don't know her situation. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Yes, I can, look, we, we can see a whole lot of it from where we're at right now, okay? Mm -hmm. She's no victim. She was on mushrooms, so she, so she was seeing shit. <laughs> I'm trying to move on and then I get to like two days and I, and I feel look repulsed. back Catherine like I need to fucking I don't know like I'm like <sighs> because maybe because of what happened I'm not like there's no closure from that for me because he hasn't apologized you want closure for a relationship that you still want to be in I'm so confused mm -mm -mm. she wants closure from a relationship she still wants to be in it's not closure mm -hmm. that you're seeking you're seeking an apology that's not closure, Chantel. Closure is when you move the fuck on. Like, people who abuse you are not going to apologize for it because they don't think they were wrong. They think you did something to deserve it. I don't know. A three-hour bike ride. <laughs> but I know it was a huge mistake even talking about this. Something like this. Uh, and yet you still know. continue. Hello, I'm Jello. You still ain't shut up about it. Incident, yeah. You said so much more than just that. Let me show. Yeah, that was like the only like physical one, really. Were those other things? You're pretty late, Kristen. I mean, that's one thing for me is like I always get blamed for everything that happens wrong. Like. Exactly, Katie. No. The fuck. Yeah, Kelly. Mm. Well, yeah, just it wasn't a pleasant experience, you know. Yeah, Tamjo, that's why. I think I've just been like <laughs> reluctant in a way, you know. I just don't understand how she's still alive. Eat sugar constantly, no meds, massive drug use. I have to fight every day to keep my sugar low. It's infuriating. Love you, Yabba and Sam. Pearl, thank you for the super chat because Chantel is like made of like what? We don't know what. Like it, Dude. these like so-called death fats, I mean that we, you know, they are called, they seem to have like a high tolerance of everything. Yeah. I mean, look at Jen. She literally survived. Uh, She went septic. Yeah. She had had an impacted bowel. Like she, she just wanted peace all weekend. <laughs> she was just on death's peace. door. I mean, look at Amber Lynn. <laughs> You know, like normal people would just, normal people that, you know, aren't 600 pounds or whatever would literally would take them out. Mm -hmm. It's like the bigger you get, the more you're like, I don't know, like. Like me, I don't think I, honestly, I don't think I'd survive if I gained like 50 more pounds. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah. I'd be in big trouble. Right. but And I'm not that big. Yeah. She's a reptilian. <laughs> I don't know, man. Cautious, reluctant. We're all still trying to figure it out ourselves. She's 90. Pudding. My cow's handsome, thank you. 
Jen's as big as ever, living her best life in the hospital, talking about how she can still order Uber Eats. Dude, <laughs> eating Jean's chocolate chip pie. I know. I wanted to uh, react to that video, but damn, Chantel keeps us on our toes. We're yes, going to have to talk does. about Jen and her. Hey, hippie peas. Hey, hippie. Her health updates. Hey, Tula. I want to go live in a nudist commune. Oh, God. Oh, let's do the same here. Eat now, she's going to our fast, but this isn't it. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. With my face going. Hey, Pacey. Jen's <laughs> house made of ectoplasm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poutine. You would commit me to a health retreat? Oh, my Hakuna, your tatters. Mm. Her sister. Oh, yeah. Is that what you were going to read? Yes. <laughs> to your retreat. Oh my goodness. Jean keeps her going. Mm -hmm. I'll drop you guys in that story. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to. Hey, Mango. Work at you. Yeah, they're cats. Who said I posted this stuff? Well, yeah. I'm self destructive. I said I finished the editing for him that I started. 400 pounds by New Year is my prediction. Oh, absolutely. I'm done with Chantel, man. I'm going through too many issues to get triggered by her. I have my own struggle at the moment. Raw diabetes is understandable. That's why That's why I tell y'all, I, I let y'all know, like, you got to let it, like, you cannot be, and I know it's hard for some people. Some people can't do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like watching a scary movie or, like, a sad movie or anything. You just got to say, it's just on TV. It's not real life. Because yeah. I, I believe a lot of this is scripted. But I get it. I do get it. I just want a piece all weekend. I just want a piece. That oh, video man. where she's coming back crying is where she hit that lady. It was in that. Oh, wow. It was before. And that's Wait, probably what? why. That's probably why she was crying. She was so upset because she didn't ran into somebody. Could have been a hit and run, too. We don't know. Mm -hmm. What's all for hey, views? BC. How many hours straight has she been eating the whole time she's been on here? Quality content, guys. I don't think so. A <laughs> shit ton. Mm -hmm. Hi, Vegas. Or vegan for life. Vegas dollar. <laughs> Raw diabetes, yes. I struggle with binge eating the way she does, and it's just infuriating. We don't so much suffer with the binge eating, but I swear to God, Chantel can, I, I don't, like, it's it's one of the two. It repulses you, or you'll see her eating a meal and be like, God damn, that looks good, you know? Like, she yeah. can trigger people she, to eat. She triggers me to eat. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how many Popeye's chicken sandwiches I ate last summer because of her. <laughs> it is, I'm jealous. It's a total thing. Sam. He's bees and hardcore bees. Sam's on Twitter. What's yours, Twitter? <laughs> yeah, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> So I can't believe nobody's brought it up. Go ahead, put it in. They there. don't dare. <laughs> put it in the chat. <laughs> you guys. She's always on drugs, hippie. I think she's out of money. Is why she's sober. Joda, probably not. She probably never regret this shit. I am tired of vegan for life. I'm eating popcorn. It has ketchup seasoning on it. <laughs> Do not relate to anything that she says or does. <laughs> Sammy Big Beezer. I don't mind the nudist. Here before. Commune. Love you, Sammy. Yava. Hey, it's Kells. Thank you for the super what? chat. <laughs> oh, eating before sleep. She makes me lose my appetite. I think eating something's Look at DC me. coming in. She's triggered me to eat more than once. <laughs> when she does those, like, fast foods with her tray and she sets it up so nice, she can't make <laughs> some shit look good sometimes, okay? Sometimes. Maybe like a banana. <laughs> And some water is healthy because your body could use the energy to repair itself. What? <clears throat> what did she just say? Hold on. <laughs> did she just say why she eats at nighttime? I think eating something small and healthy, maybe like a banana, 
and some water is healthy because your body could use the energy to repair itself. <clears throat> what is wrong with her? Well, girl, that ain't banana or water. That's popcorn with ketchup on it. Banana's the last thing she should be eating. Yeah. Hey, Catherine B. Where's the tray gone? Who center. knows? She can't fit anymore. Oh. Is she bigger than she was? Hell, I don't even know. Yeah. It's not her jaw Either. dropping, it's her teeth gnashing. <laughs> <laughs> Almost finished. That's true. Somebody said that far that went far makes me nauseated. <laughs> we love it. It's one of our favorite Chantel farts. Definitely. If you know, you know. Yeah. Lack of sleep will do that to a uh, I can hear her getting fatter. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. It's a fat Greg at that. <laughs> Come on, Chantel. Tell us how you're going back to your man. Let's get it on. Over with. You'd love Sam to play with your two beezers, Angela? Yeah, we are. Hungry fat chick makes free spirit sad. I love hungry fat chick. She makes me happy. Amber, if I'm not sleeping, you're not sleeping? You do. Let's you're a sicko. You are. <laughs> Nutritional biochemistry expert, Chantel. <laughs> He's beezing hardcore right now. Dyson, <laughs> Chantel. Hello, no. no, Sandra. Has anyone seen Malignant? Bananas are good for anemics. Oh. I can't seem to find where I can rent it. The movie was stupid. Chantel, light off drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas doll. <laughs> I'll be glad when she eats all that. God. I've done that. I'm putting her on too. It's like, oh boy. 5 a.m. Haven't slept yet. I have to be at work for seven, so I'm like, <laughs> Is she eating the dust out of the bag or what? <laughs> I see you, Amy. Sneak and watch her. <laughs> Hunger Patrick's porn made me love her Six more, Joni Joni. Uh oh. I'd smack that ass. <clears throat> Bop! <laughs> I, I know for a fact you would. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly Ann. What's the plan for she today? She is eating the salt dust. I have a lot of crap to do. I have my therapy appointment, too. Oh, six my six. God, she is. Um, Watch her. She, she dusts it in her mouth. <laughs> She's putting it on her fucking tongue, dude. I'm real. What's a good film? I don't know. Seriously. <laughs> uh, fellow fatty here. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody take salt and just put it on their tongue like that. That's what that's what's going on right here. We have hand to bag, uh, bag salt to tongue. That's what's going on here. Okay, she's literally taking and eating salt right now. Oh, your hair's still wet. Ugh. How long it last? Well, oh, she's got something salt. else. I oh, wow. Oh, the pretzels are really good. Good. Really? They got all kinds of different flavors too. I think those are the buffalo ones. Calm down. That's why I had you eat before we watch Chantel now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, to calm down. <laughs> Think about this, okay? Is that pickle flavor popcorn still in there? <laughs> yeah, no. Ah! <laughs> no, it is. No. <laughs> Nobody's eating that shit but you. Uh, uh, oh fuck! This pretzel stabbed me in the mouth. That's a lot mm, of fucking, the That's a lot of sugar. I mean, a lot of salt. Salt, yeah. Yeah, a whole lot of salt. Oh. <laughs> oh. Salt is something that triggers my body. Something terrible. I'd try to stay away from that shit. Sorry, I'm at I can fingers. feel it. Low carbers love the Yeah, I have Misha. Yeah. I travel to Florida. Wow, look at her licking her hands. Look at this shit. And where else did I go? I can't remember. She's a specimen, isn't she? Mm -hmm. I oh. eat those pretzels with hummus. I think it was PEI. You're not helping anybody. Shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Never too much, Misha. High blood pressure. Jello and jello, food. pumpkin butter. Hi, Monique. Yeah, bluebird. Okay, yeah, you? you're your kid. Are you guys gonna work right now? Everyone's sleeping but me here. <laughs> she needs to terminate her song in the background. Popcorn salt. <laughs> Sandra, I'm popping this fucking bitch. 
I'm like, I, I know I'm a pain in the ass, but slow mo this shoe and finger and lick, please. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Do it. <laughs> hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, oh, yeah. hold on, hold on. We have a request. <laughs> okay. Hold on, assos. Let's take it back a little bit. Pissy poop a hand. <laughs> can this move? What? Oh. Yeah, you can take it off. I think it was PEI. I got it. Hold on. Let me get to the part. Do you know how to do it? You gotta unscrew it. <laughs> Never too much, Misha. I want to all weekend. <laughs> no, I'm jealous. I'm better. Hi, Monique. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how are you? Are you going to work right now? <laughs> Everyone's sleeping, let me here. Oh, I think we did. Hold on. Oh, boy. No oh, one. yeah. Hi, Monique. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm licking my finger. Hi, Monique. Oh, shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Calm down, Chantel. You're getting ahead of yourself here. See, what we're going to do is wa watch you in slow motion lick your fingers, Chantel, because we're sickos like that over here. Can you believe them? They watch me lick my fingers in slow-mo, guys. What is wrong with them? And you say I'm the problem. <laughs> I can hear it now. It's great. Oh. <laughs> Donna me now says y'all are sick. <laughs> the licking is gross. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Monique. Look, look. Yuck. <laughs> you know she doesn't wash her hands after she wipes her ass, neither. Look at this. Look at those. Fingers. Those fingers are something. Fingers. <laughs> Cats. Uh. <laughs> Don't you watch her like that? <laughs> yeah, I have. I'm sorry. Been... You're the one who's proclaimed your hotel. <laughs> I traveled to Florida. We got poutines in the chat. <laughs> Wow. Is this Canadian porn? <laughs> yes, Lindsay with an A. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're going to get your porn tape one way or another, Chantel. <laughs> and it farted too. Wow. Look at her. And... <laughs> what a gift. <laughs> what a gift. Prince is going to bless the Where fucking dollars. Where <laughs> It was worth every dime. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> We're pumping her back up. <laughs> it's like a... Yeah. That. <laughs> Never too much, Misha. No lime jello, pumpkin butter. Hi, Monique. Okay, how are you? Are you guys going to work right now? Got your wet, stupid hair. Everyone's Sorry. sleeping, let me here. Popcorn salt. <laughs> Sandra, I'm fucking bitch. I'm, like, I'm eating popcorn salt. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. We have outrage in the chat. I repeat, outrage in the chat. What time is it? Subscribers are falling off. Yes, they were dropped. <laughs> Did they really? Yes, you're down. From 21k, you're down to 2,000. That's funny as shit. Come back, guys. She won't do it again. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Excuse me. I continue to coming to my live streams. For how long? Is now? there any point to this? Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Wonder girl. Did you just get uh -huh. home? Her cup matched her gown. Did you see that? No. It almost faded in. It was like it was camo. Oh, wow. She'll she'll suck it again. No. Don't worry. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, but no. <clears throat> I stay home all day. You need to get your woman I under need. control. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I have the controls. <laughs> I, I have no control over any of this. <laughs> They're in the fucking. <laughs> the 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 fucking hamburger buns. <laughs> <laughs> you have me making a plan. Raw live eating. Thank you so much for sticking around. I know it's hard on you. <laughs> 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 
Sandra, I know. I don't know, like, hi, Jay. Like, what happened to that wanting to go overseas? Just wanna be all weekend. Just wanna be. Now I kind of just wanna like put on a freaking burger and take it. What happened? Someone said we missed their shit in their pants. It's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> Those are my favorite parts. What are you talking about? Veronica Sawyer, yes, this is a support group. Welcome. If you need a support buddy, just ask one in the chat. Yes. Get you a support uh, group partner, please. <laughs> Yaba is a dom. Safe word. What safe word? Basically. Let's go. Did you just get home? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to super chat, but no. Shh, pay attention. <clears throat> I stayed home all day. All night. Sure you did, Fatty. <laughs> Why my pops on the counter? <laughs> They're in the. <laughs> it shows a show your question of your fucking hamburger buns. <laughs> They're in the fridge now. <laughs> I'm weirdly turned on right now. Sandra, I, I know. Shame. <laughs> I don't know, like, hi, Jay. Like, what happened to that wanting to go overseas and everything? Now I kind of just want to like put on a freaking burqa and move to Egypt. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, these freaking biscoffs. Sweetie. They're asking how she ended up with theater popcorn. Someone said she Uber eat it in. Really? She had to go cheap. Obviously. <clears throat> um, a bakery, I think, is a boulangerie. No, she probably had to get that stuff off her groceries earlier. You make patisserie at the boulangerie, I think, right? Hey, cheeseburger. I know. Need to focus on my health. Why are you upset, Catalicious? <laughs> I don't eat that much. That's sexy. Surely she's not going out. Look at No, 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 no. <sighs> Tell her to look in the back Cookie of the butter. she'll find one. I'm oh, sorry, Catalicious. <laughs> Your comment? I think it got withheld. I can't see it. That's not baby talk. That's I need my mommy to hold my hand talk. Okay, I'm just gonna have a few more of these. And that's it. I just have the munchies. Oh, that's it, huh? <laughs> Donald Duck said Sam is farting and turn on for Yaba. No, yeah. it's not. Louisa. I did. That's the problem with the edibles. Worst munchies. She stop eating. She goes, no, this, this like, whole time. Nice. This whole time. It's you guys ever take a medication it really that makes is. you eat like the fridge? Even like, like, and I know a lot of y'all can agree with this. Like, people always say, y'all got nerve. You're fat too. Like, why are you acting like you don't eat? No, bitch, I eat. Okay, but I, I mean, as a fellow fatty, you too. I've never seen you eat for an hour. Never. Like, we eat and that's it. Like, we're yeah. done. We get our McDonald's in and that's it. Yeah. But like, literally, like, she has ate. What are we at? Mom, yeah, where are we at? We're 50 minutes wow. in. How, I mean, how many of you all, honestly, who are like, seriously, fatty, question only, real fatties, not fatties at heart, who are overweight, obese, struggle with your weight, whatever, have sat down and ate for 50 minutes at a time? I would get tired. My mouth would get tired. And she does this regularly. This is was, this is not the first time yeah, we've seen this happen. It, it. it is fascinating. No, I'm sorry. As a person who is overweight, a fat fuck... I've never sat down and ate for 50 minutes straight. No. Never. It's never happened. <laughs> Queen, what have I missed? Are you kidding me? <laughs> never. Exactly. Like, should I eat hell? You know, it's cookie butter, but I guess. <sighs> That's some kind of gift. Yeah. It's made from cookies. She's got a goddamn peanut butter jar in her bedroom. Yeah, it's that bis. I think it's that Biscoff. The cookies, whatever it is, that comes in like a peanut butter <laughs> form too. 
Hey, Carrie. It's cookie butter. Look at her. Yeah, she's really, she's oh really. Oh my God, she's using those filthy fingers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why, like, you can tell when people criticize, like, reaction channels or, like, people who watch, you know, hate watch or whatever, when they say, oh, you're fat too. You're just, watch-. like, you obviously don't get it because you're, you don't have a clue of what goes on. Yeah, we might be fat. Hey, Michael B. Petty, is she dipping, oh shit, cookies and cookie butter? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, you can be a fatty and still be like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know? Damn, Chantel. A little bit lime jello. Toddler on acid. Biscoff cookies and biscoff spread. Look. But she said it. What what are those cookies called? Biscoff. Biscoff with, with biscoff, biscoff spread. spread. Yeah. Wow. I like both. What is Biscoff? Caramel? She is talented. Thank you, Nick Star. Thank you so much. <clears throat> this is better than cable. <laughs> Don't you ever die, Chantel? Don't you ever die? <laughs> really? Whoever it said really Biscoff is. is crack? Look, there she goes again. Was right. Wow, that's like actually that peanut butter. I used to hate it. She just had a little snack. Look at the cup. Matches her oh, gown. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Barely even see it. Look at the peanut butter stuck on her hands. On Watch. her knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, <laughs> Did you see oh it? Oh my god. Did you see it? Yes. Hold on. Watch. Hold on. Watch how she wipes the peanut butter. Look. Let's just let's just take a look. Just a small look. I mean, we got to be wrapping this up shortly, but. <laughs> uh. Okay. Point five. <laughs> Here we go. Watch. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Mm. <laughs> Look at the peanut butter on her mouth! Wow, yep. <laughs> they said shape that entire jar in two days. Whoever said Biscoff is crack? Look. This one's for free. <laughs> Was right. I like that Coke too. It's even better slow down. I used to <laughs> hate it. Let me see those fingers. Look at those dirty fingernails. Mm -hmm. And they're all the way cut down, so they shouldn't even be dirty. I'm trying to get a good shot of them. Look at look you at that it? nail. Look at yeah, I see the peanut butter, but look at the nail. Yeah, yeah. You see the nail? Like yeah. you can see it looks black. Healthy. You're, you're filthy, Chantel, licking your you're finger. Filthy animal. Filthy animal. I'm at the gym and just tuned in. Did I miss a lot? Love you all. Be safe and have a great day. Seattle Sapphire, it's been a show. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. I would suggest or recommend walking it back <laughs> and watching the beginning. Thank you so much. Look at how she sucks that straw, baby. Look at that. Just look at her, would you? <laughs> wow. It tastes a bit like ginger snap cookies. <laughs> oh my god, you see raw live beaters in chat? Hold on. Hold on, let me pause it. This is money for the short of Chantel's disgusting jar in the slow mo. Thank you, Princess Cannibalist. She must. What does she mean? The money for the short of Chantel does. Dusting the jar in the slow mo. The one we just played, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did what did Raw Lavidi say? <laughs> he said they something about the frog. <laughs> tell him, tell him. Oh, that son of a bitch frog. Mm -hmm. No, you tell him. So uh, I went hold out on. Her nails look dirtier than my dog's feet after he runs yes. in the mud. Yeah, tell him about the frog. Yeah, so I go out the front door this morning to go to my car, and the little um, I, I'll put the video on Twitter. I took a video. The little uh, net that we she keeps it by the front door in case the frog comes back so we can catch it. That frog was chilling in the net right there outside the door. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the video on my Twitter. It's it's really off. uh it's it's really just trying to fuck with me at this point. Yeah, and, and yesterday your son yep took the frog out again. Yeah, when it keeps my... coming back to our door. Our door. There's plenty of other apartments here. Yeah. Why it specifically comes to our door? Oh. I need frog repellent. I need somebody to, to suggest me frog repellent, please. I'm going to sage it. I'm going to sage the door. I bet that'll get rid of the frog. Yeah, that's exactly what will happen. Hi, Jan XOX. Oh. 
Look, she's tired. I would too. Hold on. How many minutes? Wow, did you see that? I don't know what that even was. 52 minutes. Mm -mm -mm. That's talent, Chantel. I don't think she's done. You don't think so? You no. think she's going to continue to eat? I Wait have faith in, in our girl. <laughs> I'm not keeping it. No, he's, he comes back again. I'm going to cook him. No! That's what the hell I'm going to do. He will too. Do you love me? Have me some frog legs. Like, I love you. You guys know who sings that? What is that? It's... She didn't even wash her face. It's like she's trying to put the peanut butter into her pores. Mm. The frog's name is Carmen. I sent it. <laughs> she didn't even wash her hands. She's just going on with all that. Dude, there's peanut butter on her lips. She's literally yeah, rubbing it into her face. Burgers. Look, both of her hands are really filthy good meatball. with it. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh my you god, there's the peanut butter all over her hand. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> Stop it. Hold on. Somebody screenshot that still, please. Sit down. Look at this. Somebody said, uh, mm -hmm. my frog is like your Carol in the chat. It loves me. <laughs> yeah. Look. Look at the peanut butter. Wow, Chantel. I don't know how it works. <laughs> look at the peanut butter on her freaking hands, dude. Look, it's right there. I know, it's, it's starting to trigger me a little bit. Oh, nice salt, huh? They said salt to get rid of the frog. Mm. You sure she's sober? No, I don't think she is. I think she is high. <laughs> Must just kicked in. Yeah, that's a face shaver. That's a face shaver? Yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, I wonder if that would. Oh, yeah. That's a good Can idea. One of those? Yeah. <laughs> I really wonder, like... You'll clog it up. Hey! I really think... Shh. That theme... She is fucking shaping at 5 a.m. Maybe the THC is making my mental health worse. Oh, really? Mm -mm -mm. You don't say, huh? No, you... She's gonna debunk that real fast. Oh, yeah. You don't say. So she just shaved her face with peanut butter on her hand. That means mm -hmm. the hair fell into the peanut butter yeah. that stuck to her. Yeah. So right now she has peanut butter... With face hair on her paw. <laughs> right? Yeah. Look at that still. That, it's great. <laughs> God. My name's Chantel. Don't you ever forget it, bitch. <laughs> Chantel Sorot. Put some respect on it. Put some respect on my name. Ew, Susanna, really? Did you edit Susan, this video and send it to I like him calling you Susanna. Post? Yeah. Yeah, like we weren't together. Like I couldn't edit oh my God. because it was taken on my phone. The other day when we filmed it and uh so i had the so she has uh natter's login yeah she's able to log this is not natter's channel people nope. we, we need a just a fresh reminder this is chantel's second channel okay she runs that shit she's the one heart in the comments she's such a freak she shows she's such a weirdo that she's replying as somebody else yeah that's that's weird shit i don't know much more of this grossness i can take mm -hmm. if right just calm down have a seat it's a good time Good time. I'd rather see this and her talk about her story. Clips. Oh my so god! I and I was able. To... Scab, tap back. That's what. I, that's what the the Susanna or whatever said, and I just figured they were just talking about from. Double tap. I didn't right. see anything else going to the. Let's go. To the shoot. Oh wait, wait. To the shoot. Ah! <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> to the shoot. It's like a fucking garbage disposal, dude. Let's be real. <laughs> Look, look, there it is. There it is. She's picking I it. I really wonder, like... She's picking it. Oh, <gasps> she did. Oh. I really think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is your dream, girl. Oh, God. I don't know. That's a little far for even for me. <laughs> wow. That's something special there, Chantel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just feel like we need to analyze the situation. Who gets Nader's AdSense, Chantel? We don't know that. We're just speculating. Yeah. Uh oh, Angela Tattoos is out. <laughs> Puss. <laughs> Shh, watch. Look at our girl. Deep in thought. <laughs> her just scratching her hair makes me fucking. It's like I got bugs Don't miss it. Don't miss it. <sighs> She's got peanut butter on her hand still. Mm-hmm. And cheese. Wow. 
Like her fingertips are literally discolored. There she goes. Look, there's the pick. It's like a game of golf. Uh -huh. I really wonder, like... Look. Wow. You really sicko! Think. God! Mm -mm -mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Santa tapped out, too. That the... Maybe the THC is making my mental health worse. I'll buy that one for a dollar. <laughs> Did you hear that? As soon as she said, it's making it worse, it's farted! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was great! I'm dead. All right, we got to really crank her up and try not to interrupt. <clears throat> we only got like 20 minutes left. Could you edit this video and send it to him so he could post? Yeah, like, we weren't together. Like, I can edit because it was taken on my phone the other day when we filmed it. It's it just, how long was that video? I don't know, but to send uh, a video like that to somebody else, would it would just take too much time. There's no way in a million years that Chantel sent him those files for him to upload. She did it herself. Yeah. Uh, so I had the clips, so I edited it, and I wasn't able to show him yet really how to, I showed him a few things, but only once. Like, you know, um, I have to teach him more. Do it for you don't. Family. No, you don't. No, you don't. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Send him a YouTube link and let him watch the YouTube tutorial if you want to really help that guy out. Yes. Proof she'll eat anything. Kate Rogers, absolutely. Thank you for the super chat. You don't. You are not the only person that can teach this man, this person who's been abusing you, how to edit videos. Mm -hmm. Send him a link to YouTube and he can search it himself. But uh, there are videos. But. Um, Look at the peanut butter on her hand. Uh, uh, I can just send it, yeah, files to him or whatever. You oh didn't my do god! That. You lied. Did you see touching my toes? Or Look, I eat ass in the sky. <laughs> 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 Tap my toes. You're hilarious. I can upload it for him. That was a good one. <laughs> I know people are gonna say, "Why would you do that?" Exactly, Nikki. Yeah. Kelly, I'm not. I have this cough spread. Oh my god, I do. It looks like shit. Look. She'll go to bed like that. Huh. Oh yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Speaking of. I know wow, here we go. Food. I'm tired. I'm it is tired. true. I'm too dark. I'm not gonna be on Some that. Some point, please, you just disgrace for my country. <laughs> <laughs> Trolling Annie, thank you for the super chat. Wow, she's gonna go sleep with all that I'm... on her hands. Popcorn <sighs> dust, hairy cookie butter, scab. What won't this buffalo eat? Man, yeah, but get yourself some Starbucks. You've earned it. The thank you, Angel with tattoos, thank and we you. are. We are? Yeah. Hey. I need to have a shower. Prepare for the boredom and depressed days. Oh, I'm not ready for that. She's an absolute catch. Oh. Rubbed it on her okay. face and her shirt. Yeah. I just want a piece all weekend. Have a normal day tomorrow. Just want a piece. Day and not a baked one. <laughs> just think of how much you ate when he's waking you up every two hours and won't shut up. And you shut fucking made me laugh so hard with that. Nope, not really, Mandy. <laughs> Raw diabetes, I gave you a wrench. <laughs> WM was like, do you have tuberculosis? Adding to the so Starbucks funny. fun. Oh, thank you, DeBelle and DeBall. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if she takes him back, is her channel over? So, um, Look, I'm going to be honest, and I, we said it earlier, I think that it's really going to be hard to come back from. Not the fact that she said that he abused her, but the fact that he she said he abused a cat. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people, even the VIBs, are going to accept that. That's going to be real. I'm curious to see. I don't think she can. I, I don't think her channel will survive that. I don't. 
Not if she goes back to him after she publicly stated bribing me with a wrench <laughs> that he uh, abused her cat. Trailer Park Barbie. God almighty. Where's she at? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I ain't even gonna more. read it. Oh, thank you, Nimri. She makes me so happy. Don't even attack my feet, I'll fucking... <laughs> Jeez, what a llama. No, exactly, you're cheese. <laughs> I have no upper lip. I need to get lip injections. What would I look like with a fat upper lip? <laughs> I want to know. Uh, like a duck? Oh, no, Mel. Do you think so, That's Libra? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that when it comes to the uh, child abuse... Just like, I mean, look at all the stuff that Shani and Rev did. For those of you who know who they are, mm -hmm. they were racist. They like literally hard homophobic, R, yeah. homophobic. Like they were trash upon trash upon trash. And when it, and their channel survived it. But when it came down to showing the conditions of the children that the children were living in and things like that, it took what, like not long to get them. Two or three days. Two or three days to get yeah. them completely terminated from their channel. That big YouTuber that had, was just having her kid fake cry, or cry, not fake cry, but it, pretty much exploiting their dog uh, being sick for a thumbnail, like their comp channel's completely shut down. Yep. Um, the girl who whipped the dog, I don't know if y'all remember, it was last year, she didn't edit it out of her video, like she got this big the dog. Gamer. No, the gamer? I don't think oh. she was a gamer, I think she was like a vlog channel. And she didn't edit it out, but her like literally punching the dog with her fist and she was a big YouTuber. She's gone. You know, um, there's a lot of things I think that people will, will tolerate. But when it comes to animals and children, I think that's that's where, like, that's going to cause a lot of mass flagging to Chantel. So she's done it to herself. I mean, and that's the only person, you can't even be mad at people for doing it. You can't. Thanks, Vegas. You guys, I'm not even fucking kidding. Like, people do not play around creepy. with that at all. I swear to God. I mean, just the fact that she helped him out and uploaded his video to his channel, and she said that about her, her cat and helped him, and she's saying that this money is going to him, should be enough right there. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I really can't think of their names right now. Like, there's channels, like, um, a lot of people in the... Um, I think uh, Dustin Daly just, was it Dustin that just uh, did it and Nick? The one with the kid crying in the video? That just happened. The one about the dog was sometime last year. If you do some kind of Google search, you'll find it. Hi, Dina Sharpfart. <clears throat> My feet think you're acting like you're being very accusatory. Like, over something that, like... Yeah, she had a Doberman, absolutely. No, like, I don't understand that. Gamer girl. Because, I, I mean, are people really that surprised that I've gone back to somebody that, like, I have feelings for, you know? Mm -hmm. Brooke okay, Houts. What'd she say? She said, are you guys really surprised that I've gone back to somebody I'm I have not saying it's a healthy for. relationship and that we should be. Wow. So right there, that's mm -hmm. proof of it. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I feel like, hold on. I'm going to put it in normal normal speed. Uh, if anybody wants to re get ready to screen record, I think this would make for a nice clip on uh, Twitter. I'm going to un... There we go. I'm going to show the screenshot of what Chantel said about her cat and then let her say that they're back together. Mm -hmm. Because... I, I mean, are people really that surprised that I've gone back to somebody that, like, I have feelings for, you know? I'm not saying it's a healthy relationship and that we should be together, but it shouldn't be surprising to people, really, that, you know? That it's hard to break up with somebody that you're in love with. This is where it becomes tricky, okay? Because 
I would put five on it. Her channel will survive probably passionately, but her channel is just built just like she is. Listen. <clears throat> okay. When, if people are in an abusive relationship and that abuse moves over to the children, let's just use that for an example, that becomes criminal. Yeah. Okay. That becomes, we're not going to give you an excuse. Oh, you're in love. Oh, you don't know how to get out. Once that abuse moves from you and you and you claim that you stay because you love this person, you want to look past it, you don't know what it's like to be in my situation, yada, yada, yada. Okay, whatever you say. But when that abuse moves from you to someone else, just want peace all weekend. <laughs> there just lies the problem, peace. okay? It's not only affecting her anymore. Like her abuser is not just abusing her. According to her, he's abusing her animals. So it's a whole nother ball game, Chantel. So do you understand when you say, are people surprised that I'm actually went back to, I really love him or whatever she just said. And you've got this screenshot up here talking about he, how he's hurt your animals. Well then number one, either you're going to have to cut this guy off or number two, you're going to have to give your animals to somebody who can take care of them. I have always defended Chantel when it came to her animals, that she took good care of them. She fed them and everything. I didn't like the fact that she would let Sam's coat get as bad as she did. Yeah. But other than that, I felt like that she was capable of taking care of her cats. But now to know that she, that he hurt her cat, yeah. she now it's a whole different ballgame. Like, now you really don't, like, no, you don't need those cats. You've publicly admitted that he has hurt your animals. Publicly. You can't walk that back, Chantel. This ain't that he's hurting you. This is that he's hurting your animals. So either, number one, you break up with him and you're not going to get on here and cry that you say you still love him and you just can't cut him off. Or two, if you want to stay with him, you've got to give over your animals. That's the only options you're going to have. Nobody on this platform, if you think that you had the cops call because you said that this man hurt you, what do you think is going to happen now that you've admitted that this man has hurt your cat hurt your animals that's not going to end well for you Chantel this was all fine and dandy when you were the only victim of this whole scenario that you've created online now you've got your cats that you said that he hurt Chantel I don't understand how she's going to be able to walk that back at all at all and abusive relationships are especially hard to leave <clears throat> <clears throat> because of like the manipulation and and very intense feelings so. I'm just I'm having a really hard time hi Sam don't I have the best cats? Look, plain See? cheeseburgers. Yeah, you do have good cats, Chantel. Look. Oh, chubby moose. What happens next when he, whatever he did to physically hurt them, kick them, I'm assuming? What happens when he kicks them too hard and he hurts their little organs? Yeah, or These breaks a leg. These cats are so fragile. Like, remember when Max got his, Max or Molly got their paw, both of my cats have managed to get their paw stuck somewhere and it's like almost immediate meltdown because they're so fragile. Yeah. Like, you want to hurry up and get their little, because their bones are so just, they're just so fragile. You kick a cat, are you kidding me? It will literally, or slap it. You can really damage them. <laughs> chubby. Hi, Chubby. Hey, or it. Hi, Chubby. Chubby. <laughs> chubby. No, that's not true. You're not going to say if somebody shoved your cat. Hell, I shove my cat off the counter all the time. Get your ass off my counter, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. No, you're not going to say in a text message that you hurt my cat. Yeah. That's not hurting your cat. That's not what happened. Because some time, her community always pities her. And f because it's always Luna, but the thing is, yeah, her community always pities her because it's always about her. She's really, up until now, been the only victim in the situation right mm -hmm. now it's not she's not the only one anymore welcome to three important beezers thor ready set bees i'll call you thor okay shove your moose. <laughs> no, <laughs> he had to do shove more than moose. shove her you're not gonna hurt a cat by I shoving shove it moose. Shove your moose. 
I bet he shoved it right off that countertop. Sam. No. I Sam, I Samar. Kicked it or something. Sam, Samar. You're not gonna say Sam, you hurt my cat Samar. by shoving it off the counter. Well, I mean, if you <laughs> Off the car hard and just fast, you know easy. what I mean? No. What is it? Cat. No, I don't oh. think so. <clears throat> Not when you say hurt. No way. <laughs> you hear him pouring. What's he pouring? A little liquor for his homies? <laughs> no, she said it on Oy. Instagram. There's the text messages on the <laughs> screen. Can you see it? That's true, Sarah. You guys mean like we're doing as hard? Well, oh, so hard though. <laughs> hey, Amber. Oh, I didn't say that, Catalicious. You're such a big boy. <laughs> 27. He was addicted to butter broccoli. 30s. Hi, Ann Smith. <laughs> I hope that BPJ lives to be 30. She's 19. <laughs> My farts. He's suckling, look. Sam? Get the bugs. Hi, Moonlight. Did she say he's suckling? Does she get that cat suckling, sucking yeah, on her belly what, again? I mean, yeah. Like, why are people so God, she's disgusting. I have a hard time breaking it off with someone that I have intense feelings for. Like, hey, you know. <sighs> Where do you live, Misha? Oh, no. I don't believe he sent those texts or that he hurt that cat. She lies. Mm. And you could be right, Chantel's ass broom splinters. Either way about it, doesn't matter. She's put it out there. Now yeah. she's saying she's getting back with this guy who she said hurt her cats. Okay. Like, it's one thing for you to be with an abuser, but once that abuser touches you, I mean, touches your kids or an animal, it's done, son. Done, son. I just want to be You would go to jail. <laughs> just want to be <laughs> Shut up, Chantel. If you're in a, a domestic violence relationship and somebody hits you, you won't go to jail. But if you're in a, a domestic violence relationship and that you let that person hit your children, or if you let that person hit your animal, they will get arrested. If you don't, no, that ain't what I meant. If you don't report it, you will get arrested. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. You will go to jail because you're, you're the, what do you want to call it? The caretaker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, she could go to jail for that. Oh. For letting it happen. I love BBJ. <laughs> Chantel's ass broom splinters. I read that not even laughing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know for how. I don't know if it is love. I can't tell. Get the bugs. The Blair Witch Project. Sorry, I'm itching my butt through my pants. Oh, chubby moves. Chubby moves. Chubby moves. Uh. Hi, Chubster. I'm gonna go soon because I've been on it for an hour. Beezer, Ebenezer. <laughs> Ebenezer, Beezer. Love doesn't hurt you. Love hurts. <laughs> Nazareth wrote a song about it. <sighs> no, my therapy is tomorrow. Oh, Lime Jello, you can email me. Well, uh, I don't know. That, really? In the United States, unfortunately, animals are considered property, so there's unfortunate lack of law protection. We just played a video at the very beginning of the stream about animal abuse and how somebody went to jail over it. Yeah, but you got that's what they're saying. You gotta like it's gotta be like some Severe. major, major serious shit. <clears throat> yeah. Well, either way about it, it's been shown publicly, you know? Mm -hmm. Like message me on email or DM me on Instagram and I'll give you my address. That's sweet of you. Yes, Brooklyn. Russian channel are gonna go yep. extra hard for what? Take what it I back just, just about five minutes. I thought here's the thing, here's the difference. I'm not saying it's okay to be with somebody who abuse who's abusive or whatever. T, what do you mean? What's T mean? What's T know. broken mean? You're messing with people. How so? Who are we messing with? How how are we messing with somebody, T? I'll wait for you to respond before I go forward. Because this, this video is almost over. So explain yourself, please. They have to get a lot of, a lot of evidence just to give an animal taken away since it's considered property. Mm -mm -mm. And that's a shame. By promoting one thing, then flipping the switch, not trying to be rude, really. What do you? I'm sorry, but what do you mean? I'm not promoting anything. Are you talking about by me speculating on stuff? And then maybe changing my mind and deciding something different? What do you mean specifically? I just want to be. In Florida, you get in a car accident. If your animal is hurt, they are considered property also. I work in insurance. I found that so crazy. Mm hmm. Yeah, T, you're going to have to just explain it a little bit better. I'm yeah. trying to follow. 
He deleted the post on his community tab. Mm hmm. GG, thank you for the super sticker. How can anyone defend Chantel's beyond me? I agree. It has to be serious. Like, yeah, Jamie Kimbrough serious. I just want a bees all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well we'll keep it pushing and pushing. I mean I'd address it and talk with you about it, but you're not like you're taking forever to type and I gotta wrap this up. But um it shouldn't be surprising because abusive relationships are not easy to just get out of just like that, you know. A lot of women usually need help, and but I'm not like the thing is, is like this was like I don't know, it was like an incident, but then I was like, okay, I have to make a decision. Am I gonna move on? Do I want to be with him? And I decided that yes, so I tried to just move on. But it, like I said, here we go. Like my body, like he said, you promoted that you believe these are fake, but now you're saying they're real. It's very flippy floppy for someone to say one thing. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. It, no, no. I'm not switching anything. No, whether they're fake or whether they're real has it doesn't matter to me. She has said that he is an animal abuser. Whether he is or not doesn't matter. If, number one, he is an animal abuser, and if, number two, that she's that much trash to come on here and exploit animal abuse, they are have the same consequence, in my opinion, as far as her channel is concerned. Yeah, keep in mind, this is Chantel telling us that this is a conversation between her and Nader. Whether it is or not changes nothing. The fact that she's using her cat... And saying that he abused it changes nothing for me. <laughs> Chantel should open up therapy session with, excuse me, I have to put my cat in the other room. He's been suckling my fupa. He does it all the time. We're very close. Like, I get what you're saying, but this is what she wants us to believe. But you got to keep in mind that she might be lying, but it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change the fact that she's exploiting animal abuse. The point is, either way, she how's she going to walk this back? What is she going to come in here and say she lied about the text messages? Or is she going to come on here and say that, yes, double down and say that Nader abuses the cat? All we know is Chantel lies. I can't sit here and tell you 100% any of this shit is true. Any of it. But it's all fucked up. That I can tell you for fact. <laughs> Or some kind of like but i get where you might be confused i do agree with that where it is it's confusing i mean and that's what you you deal with when you deal with somebody who lies either way to me it's the same it is is it wrong for me to say that switching an opinion on the dime is giving the whiplash that's all i'm saying i agree with your opinion on the consequence i just go confused for a bit okay well then no you're not wrong i guess i should clarify to say that if and I didn't say that I believe that these were fake. I'm just saying it's a possibility that they could be faked. If you rewind back, I say that people are saying that Chantel has multiple devices, so they could be faked. I don't 100% know either way. I honestly don't know what to believe. But if true, it's all fucked up. And yeah, I guess I should state that every time I say that. If this is true, if Nader is abusing her cats, then I don't see her recovering. Either way, I don't. We're just considering all kind of angles like and options. Yes. <laughs> it does get confusing over here. So, no, I do understand your whiplash and what you're saying. I do. I get response, it. And that I just can't control. But I think only therapy and I need to do um, <coughs> the detox. The no, T, I get it. For, uh, I'm agreeing with you. The cannabis. So they'll probably call me back tomorrow for that. <laughs> Exactly, Sandra. I don't, but I don't have any ties except heartstrings, <laughs> you know, just being honest. <laughs> no, I am, Stop I am done. breathing. Louisa. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's not easy, <laughs> that's all. I know it's a mistake, Kaylee. I'm not going to. I need to be single. I need to focus on myself, my health. <laughs> I can't be in um, a relationship like this.
How mm -hmm. she out of breath laying in bed? How? She just she just ate for fifty minutes straight. I'd be out of breath too. God. Hell. Yeah. Yeah, it's just been hard. <laughs> hey, chef. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to bed in like two minutes. Chef leftovers. <laughs> Treating her viewers like a therapy session? Oh, I'd love to vent about whatever I want. It's my channel. <clears throat> oh. And that's where <laughs> Chantel's, a lot of Chantel's problem lies, is that she feels like that she's allowed to do whatever on her channel because it's her channel. And her stubbornness is what's good, really going to affect her. Actually, I'm having such a hard time keeping my... Where's Alex? Asked if we were stream sniping right now. It's clearly nighttime where Chantel is, and it is 11.38 a.m. presently. Alex, you're not very good at this. Keep you up. suck. I don't think I swear. I'm going to sleep so good. Is she live? One second, you say you're back together, then you say you're single. No, surely she's not. No, 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 I didn't say it. I never said we're back together. Jody. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, but no, I'm sure I'm confusing the shit out of you guys. Oh, this is like just chaos in my mind all the time. <laughs> a virtual trainer, Chef Leftovers? Like, you mean like a personal trainer from like exercise? How can we get rid of the FUPA? Yeah. The bot and brutalized. Like Caesar. <laughs> Look at Charlie. Just... <laughs> no. Love it. Oh, I'm so tired. It is late though. It's like 6 a.m. 6.30. St. Nashi. Chantologist. St. Nashi. Oh, I want Nashies. Let's get Nashies. <laughs> Matters of charging that Tesla. I don't right get bothered by you talking about him. Just you saying and doing different things. Yeah, I do that a lot. Cinnamon Swirl, hello. I just worry about you, I don't dream. want to see you hurt. Oh, I know, Jody. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm so sorry that you went through that. This girl fat accumulation around major organs is what's causing her state of labor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Chef Leftovers. I'm so behind on everything, for real. Okay, guys. I gotta go. I'm so tired. Or a syrup cake? What is that? She's she's done. She's she's just bullshitting. She's going It's had like two minutes left. That was a good stream. That's the first time, guys. That's the first time that we've actually gotten through a full video in a long time on this channel. Cause I know I like to talk a lot, and we you know we don't we we barely get through half of them, but we got through the whole video on that one. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, guys. Good work. Good work. Oh, that eats the most epic. <laughs> thumbnail anyways uh my clip people out there i uh, do hope that you took that clip of chantel uh sitting there talking about how you how do you expect me to, to leave Nodder yeah. with the text messages up there i think that's important whether they're fake or not it makes no difference it makes no difference because she wants us to believe it's real so we have to believe it's real yeah until proven otherwise what a fucking show chantel no shit Mm -hmm. Now I'm actually like I was getting discouraged with all the abuse and now I'm kind of curious how she's going to get herself out of this one. <laughs> I mean, she usually does manage to get herself out, but I don't know, man. The fact that you're sitting there saying that he hurt your cat and you're going to have him what back in your house cooking again. It's going to be a sight to see. Anyways, guys, you enjoy your uh, what day is it? Fuck Tuesday. And uh, we'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.